Ladies and gentlemen, introducing No Objective Gaming with Aaron and Jordan. Hey, Dylan, this is another episode of No Objective Gaming. It's, uh, it's another one. <laughs> it's another one. It's episode 27, and we've got here today... The Oliver Taylor. The Oliver Taylor on. That's Sub Chiefs. It. The Big. Xbox King. He is the fucking king of, of games. Because what are we going to be talking about today? Is Xbox dying? I promise that's, I promise that's <laughs> not at all true. We're trying to get you to click on our show. Yeah. I don't believe that Xbox is dying, but <laughs> hopefully it'll get onto you. It'll get people to watch. Yep, definitely. But bro, is Xbox dying? No. We'll anyway, talk about that later. You yeah. have to listen to the whole show to get that. Yeah, why? Yeah. Ooh, spoiler. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so what have you been playing this week? We'll, we'll with start Ollie. with Ollie first. Yeah. Uh, Halo Wars 2, the new DLC, yeah. Operation Spearbreaker, and the new leader, Serena. Nice. How are you liking them, man? Mate, Operation Spearbreaker was, it was fucking good. Um, we did the, cam- did the campaign co-op with Legendary with a mate. That was good. It was probably about three hour gameplay, so you know, not heaps and heaps nice and of cheap. gameplay. Uh, well, it was part of the season pass that we bought. Oh, yeah, I think it's enough. going for under twenty. Yeah, oh, okay, that's, that's pretty including good. the leader pack as well. So that's good, which yeah. has a lot of multiplayer content, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. Sweet. And what about you, Mick Duff? Oh, it's not really news, is it? Yeah, I'm still playing Overwatch. It's Overwatch again? <laughs> it's still Overwatch. That's all I do. <laughs> that's it's the sick. life, dude. It's, it's the just, way to do it. Yeah, man. Just having them hard times, getting SR and losing SR all the time. <laughs> Can't get out of platinum. Can't get out of platinum. Nah, I'm stuck in there at the moment. For like two <laughs> weeks, I'm just going to live in platinum until I get better at the game. No diamond. Nah, I really want to get there. I did just... see, um, what's his name, Creator. He's got to 3,000 SR. So that's he... diamond. Yeah, that's diamond. So yeah, he's hanging out in there. He's, his stream's going really well, actually. Most of the player base is platinum to diamond. Like diamond, you sort of like... You take you you take the game a lot a little bit more seriously yep. than I would. Okay, but then like from there on, it's like oh yeah, you just fuck you play like you know three hours a night at least. That's sick, man. That's no, sick. I just don't I just don't do that. I'm no, like, I got uni, I got shit on, bruh. Dude, that's yeah. sick. I don't think there's anything. Else. Oh, we played Hobbit last night again. The little couch stream. Yep. With couch the dog, cast. Yep. The dog and the cat. That's <laughs> fuck me. They just like the cat always interferes. Not really. He's just, just yowling in the background. Oh. And the dog was sleep twitching on the couch while we were streaming. Oh. <laughs> it was crazy. so good. Oh, I have to say who I am today. Yeah, who are you? I am equal parts Bell, Biv, and DeVoe. Okay. So, yep. you, so <laughs> this is so Bell, good. Bell, we Biv, watching, and DeVoe. We were watching uh, the Scrubs last night. And that, you know that song, Poison? That girl is poison. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like Turk starts <laughs> dancing to that. And I was like, who the fuck sings that? And Emily's like, oh, isn't it Belle Biv DeVoe? I'm like, who's he? And, <laughs> and there's like, Emily hey. saying yes in the chat. She's yeah. saying yeah. <laughs> so, so she's like, oh, it's actually a band. She's like, it's actually a band. It's a group. It's like, I was like, I, th- I said to her, who names their kid Belle Biv DeVoe? <laughs> she's like, no, it's a series of people. Okay, Bell, Biv and DeVoe. Yeah, that- <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's their names at all. Surely you wouldn't call yourself Biv. No. Uh- or Bell. Yeah, Bell. I don't know. Trying there's there's the Bell from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, so that's the only reason we know that's from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I, I didn't know half this Disney stuff until I played that game. So no, it's good. Me, I've been playing Final Fantasy V this week. I've been doing that stream for the four job fiesta. Have you finished it yet? Nah, I've got all the four crystals and they all destroyed, and then all of a sudden this evil character X Death was freed from Earth because he'd been trapped within these crystals. And basically shot off to another dimension, another blew his world. Blew off to another dimension. Yeah, just blew it off over there. And um, now he's going to destroy that world. So I've gone to the other world. So I found out there's three worlds that you've got to go and you've got to save in oh, shit. Final you, Fantasy V. Well, like one. So I've done one. <laughs> and so there's another two to go. So you've got a little while to go. Yeah, I got real pissed off the other day because I went to this place and I was like, yeah, I'm going to bash this dragon, right? I was dying in four hits every single time. And it's I'm not like, a euphemism. I have to do this. I have to do it. No, nah, I wasn't meant to be there at all. This dragon was like level 50. I'm level 21. What? 
<laughs> so it's just a side place you can go and grind out if you want. And I just was like, oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. Some guy in the chat just like, you're not meant to be here yet. I went, thanks. <laughs> all this all this guy does is play fucking Final Fantasy all the time. Yeah. He yeah, plays some... all these like JRPGs. He just lives on that stuff. He doesn't yeah. play any coolness. I play, play a lot of guns. coolness. Can I get on Battlefield 1 better? Oh, man, no. Nah. <laughs> I got it, but yeah. yeah. We played that new map as well, that fucking um, new night map. I can't remember what it's called. Because there was ne- Nivelle Knights and then there was another one. Mm. They're f- pretty fucking good, but yeah. if you're not on the ball and you're not looking in all the fucking corners, you won't see them. You oh. won't see the enemy in the shadows. Far out. Because, yeah, so, I did hear it was all night based on yeah, that. Yeah, it's definitely harder than like some of the day maps, like St. Quentin Scar or whatever. Day map. Yeah. But, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, fucking, it's good. St. Quentin. Yeah. That's sick, man. Yeah, I, I'm. you know what? I, actually, this week I was really thinking, I'm like, oh. I really want to play that player un- Players Unknown Battlegrounds. Oh, yeah. Is that on consoles yet? No, it's that... only coming to Xbox anyway. So this is a good thing yeah, to it's talk it, yeah, about it's later. Good. But yeah, anyway, um, it's only on PC at the moment. Yeah, so basically, right. yeah, it's like yeah. the Hunger Games kind of thing where there's so many... Good. Yeah, and you and you can play squad base basically, yeah. or free-for-all. You have to play... Oh. There's a free-for-all version oh, as well, okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but like you do like four mans. So, like, if you jump in a squad, it'll just throw you in a team with, like, four people and you guys sort of all jump on mics together and, mm. and yeah. go, hey, guys, and then you go, all right, we're going to go over here and you'll work as, a, like, a little mini, like, like a specialist squad. And you try and survive, be the last man standing. Yeah, and basically it. the map gets smaller the t- more the time goes on. Yeah, so. to, to make sure the game doesn't yeah, just fucking Yeah, it's apparently m- fucking massive Oh, dude, the moment. It's it, the biggest game sort of running around right now. Yeah, yeah. it's like armor, but just next level. Yeah, it's just way better. Yeah, way better. But it had that kind of mechanics, like Wasteland from Armor. That was a yeah, mod. None of the food and like, survival mechanics yeah. that just make you want to fucking neck Ugh. yourself. But Wasteland <laughs> took that out. That was a a mod brought in by Armor, and all it was was you. The more people you kill, you get a little bit of coin. You can spend at the shops. You can buy better weapons and stuff like that. And it's basically you just keep going around this map, getting in cars and. When you off. start player unknown, do you start with nothing? See, this is the thing no. I don't know, and no, I'm like, no, no, you you start with. Everything. So you got your loadouts. Oh, wait, I think you start with a pistol. Okay, and then you got to get other you items. Gotta, but, but there are guns quite consistently. Yeah, okay. Oh. Like, because I was watching Funhouse <clears throat> do a play of it, and it was like, they just went into a house, and there was like several guns. But they're different, you know, so you, you might be like, oh, i got a shotgun, but like, that's not of no use for me when the guys are like, a K away. And yeah, how no. uh, long are the maps? Um, like I know like it goes minutes. for, yeah. 20 minutes, yeah, so it's like a... It looks fun. I, I was actually that. sitting there going, I would play this. It's third person as well. Mm. Uh, so it looks fun. Like, uh, is it third person or fourth? I'm pretty sure. I think it's, I think it has, maybe it has camera switching. Okay. But it is, there is absolutely third person. Yes. Okay. That, that, that looks fun anyway. I like anyway. third person these days. But I was also thinking, I'm like, Jordan, we should get Destiny 2 when it comes out. Why? And I think we should play it and give it our no objective review. Oh, right. Okay. All right. We should do it. We should play it together. Yeah, fair and, enough. And um, I played the beta. You, you played the beta. Play oh, we'll no, talk. We've got to talk about that then. Yeah, we can talk about that now because it's still we're still at the beginning. Yeah, okay. So you yeah. played the beta. Okay. What do you think? Maybe the beta was fucking good. It's like yep. a really, really polished version of Destiny One. Mm-hmm. I'd say that um, the beta didn't have a lot of flaws that I could notice. They're definitely going for a more uh, story based game. Yeah, I heard that. Apparently they, the story's pretty big. They've got a lot more narrative involved. Yeah. You've got character development from the start. So Smart. you're learning who who the the main players are um again like the menu system the subclasses that's all the same as destiny one yeah so you go you open your character menu all the stuff's laid out in the same way character development in terms of skill tree is the same thing so there's not a lot of changes on that front but if you like destiny one you'll fucking love destiny two all right cool yeah so no bad voice acting from peter dinklage oh peter (laughs) peter fucklidge he can fucking piss right off that little that was so bad that's just like the that was just disappointing as hell little light don't do that (laughs) (laughs) and like just no effort put in whatsoever no it sounds like they did it over a phone call as well hey man just can you read this off piece of paper but i really don't think that they expected destiny one to be as big as what it turned out to be oh man wasn't it like eight years in the making and it was like bungie's late new thing uh, they got peter dinklage simply because he's from game of thrones like that had to be he's not even known for anything else no that's true so they would have absolutely been like let's let's make this a bigger deal Mm. They wanted him to be like Steve Merchant from um, Portal. Yeah, okay. But he's just not. Like, no one is Steve Merchant. Steve Merchant is a man. Oh, he is just... 
He's the funniest. Have you played Portal 2? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's just the he's funniest motherfucker. He's great as that little robot. But Aaron hasn't played that part of Portal 2. No, I've only played the multiplayer. Yeah, go play the single player and you hear him. And he is just a funny cheesel. A funny cheesel. <laughs> the whole time. He's quality. Well, well, the other thing with Destiny, I know we're going back rehashing it, but... Don't you dare. They changed... This show has a format. Allegedly, they've changed the multiplayer in that it's four on four. Okay. I don't know whether they'll have big team battles or whatever, whatever later on, but at the moment, they've gone for a very Halo-esque multiplayer. Oh, really? Which is four interesting. Four four. Yeah. Because the, to me... Is this just like the PvP? Yeah. To yeah, me, the best... What do they best... call that again? Sorry. What's oh, that? the Crucible. Crucible. Oh, Crucible that's yeah. it, yeah. yeah. I never played that in Destiny 1 because I jumped in once. And I'm, like, I'm not doing this. You get fucking slapped if you don't yeah. play regularly. Yeah. So I was just like, I'll keep playing on this campaign. Yeah. yeah. And then I couldn't even get through that. But I think I was just more salty that it wasn't the MMO that I wanted. Mm. Like, I thought it was going to be a proper MMO, but it was kind of a bit half-assed kind of... When it first came out, there wasn't a lot of content. A lot no. of people have said that. Oh, no. It's just like the <laughs> format for how people were like, you, you don't really like wander around and there's just crowds of dudes everywhere. And it's not like that. It's 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 more instance based. Yeah, it is. Getting into based. a raid group was fucking frustrating as well. For ages, yeah. It was annoying. So yeah. it's good now. you got Raid Finder and all that kind of stuff. And I think so. Yeah. Well, they've got a few apps on the phones now which help you find mm. people to join it with. Like, I get it. They don't want to do matchmaking because you don't want people jumping in for the first section and then just leaving. Like yeah. at least if you're going through the application on your phone, you're actually looking for a raid. But yeah, there's still plenty of fucking cool. Well, hopefully, it's good. Yeah, well, I mean, like I only I'm care. I'm not. A... I'm not ever gonna play it like crazy. We could do a week of it, you know, just a yeah. week solid, just like a week review. Yeah, yeah, because I just all I'm gonna do is just go back to Overwatch anyway, and like it just doesn't. I don't have time for MMOs, not because I don't like them. Yeah, but because. It's a time sink, it's, man. Yeah, it is. It's the idea. Like if you if you do that, fuck. Like it's so they can be so fun, but like I just like drop in, drop out. You know, like maps of Call of Duty. Just go play Call of Duty for like a couple of hours, and you like World War Two. <laughs> uh, oh, that is gonna be. Took a week of leave. Oh, oh did you really? <laughs> I, could, yeah. I should do that as well. Oh, yeah. I should do that as well. I'm gonna whole get week on, off. Gonna get that on PS4, yep. and I'm gonna get, and then Battlefront Two. That's around the same time, actually. Battlefront Two is October, I think. Oh no, it's. Oh shit! He might be around like the exact same time, actually. Not too sure, yeah. And that I'm gonna get that and the World War Two. So that is just gonna be the that, zombies. That well, oh. the zombies. I'll have to just come over and we'll have to do splitties like the old days. Yeah, well, m- me and Barry are gonna fucking do it. I think it either oh, his or mine. Maybe we can do three player then. Can you do two on one? You can do, yeah. Boom. I don't know how framey that might be though. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't really matter. It's just zombies, mate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Cop campaign. Is that happening? Is they that got it? that as well, yeah. We should know that. Yeah, yeah, definitely is there. Yeah, They, they were talking all about because it was a big hype that it was back. Like, Yeah, because yeah. World War had that and it was yum. Yeah, it was pretty hard. Oh, God, yeah. They made it way harder when you did it in co-op, which is fine by me. I don't give a fuck. But needs to be. Yeah. All right. Cool, man. That's what we've been doing. Yeah, that's it. Bitches. Um, so, what are, should we get into? We should talk about... You where you can fucking... find us and what you should follow us on. Anyways, yeah, yeah, please yeah. give us an iTunes yeah. review on the iTunes store. Helps our channel out a lot and our podcast out a lot. Um, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at No Objective Gaming, Twitter at No Objective Game, Twitch at No Objective Gaming AU, YouTube at No Objective Gaming, and Instagram at No Objective Gaming. Yeah, so we've been posting a lot of stuff up this week and just mucking around and having fun on social media. Yeah, because we recorded our intro. Yeah, we recorded... Oh, man, that intro, man. Did oh. you guys like it? Let us know in the comments if you Emily liked. didn't like it. She didn't like it? She nah, she, like she it. did. But she's she, just she, like, oh, she's like, oh, she's Limp like Biscuit. Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> our, our new metal came out. That's right. And the the intro was awesome. We've got Fred Dursk on the show here today as yeah, well. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but let's get into new games anyway. What the fuck? So, this week was a big week because the Rugby League, lo- Rugby League Live 4 came out well, this week. I'm going to run straight down to EB yeah, for that oh one. man. Come on. It's awesome. I love Rugby League. Yeah. Much like Don Bradman's cricket, apparently. So, Well, it says like Don Bradman's <laughs> cricket, yeah, like where you made the decision two or three iterations ago. Yeah, I I still need to get that. I still want Don, not Rugby League. I need to get Don Bradman cricket. Yeah. <laughs> I really want it. <laughs> I want to get it when it's like 30 bucks. And so Emily and I can go... Th- you can do like a World Cup campaign. Okay. And play, like, create your character and join a team. And then... See, that sounds awesome. Play like 2020 series and... <laughs> That's cricket, hilarious. Cricket is life, man. Oh my goodness. How yuck. 
Um, no. <laughs> no. You played, you played, you like. I don't give a fuck if I played cricket. Cricket can go in the bin. No. Yep. Wrong. <laughs> Fortnite came out as well. Has what anyone seen much on this? It's yeah, a yeah, survival co op game. It. Um, it's like Plants vs. Zombies, maybe all that kind of stuff. And um, it looks kind of cool, man. Like, I was actually watching it. There's a lot of people playing on Twitch, man. It's huge at the moment on there. Mm. Um, Just like every new release. Yeah, pretty much. It's a co op game and it's survival, build your own stuff, like zombie basically apocalypse type of game but yeah we don't need to talk much about that um pry came out as well this is looks really cool this is made by the people that made bastion and transistor that's an indie developing company um this one isn't uh, an rpg as such like transistor and um bastion was this one's more of like almost just like fun like there's missions where you've just got to jump over things and kill like little bosses and stuff one shot kills this looks pretty cool I was watching um, Excessive Profanity play it the other day mm. we went through it and um, yeah it's pretty big at the moment got 9.4 or something on IGN that's how much they mm. reviewed it so it got pretty high reviews it's good uh, Fable Fortune came out as well if anyone's into card games and this one is the Fable card game so it's like Gwent and Hearthstone and all that kind of stuff. They're just jumping on the bandwagon. Mm. Like that and that's probably the biggest problem that they're gonna face is that they want twenty plus dollars for it in the Xbox store. Is that oh, how much what? it's going for? For a game that to be fair, the market's completely flooded with. Yeah, and if well, you're like, gonna play a card game, you might as well get just get magic or something. I mean, these games have been around for fucking well, ages. Hearthstone's yeah. the best Hearthstone, free one. It, you know, it's free, but you get sucked in and you buy hundred. Yeah, but it's best one, yeah. but it's like good. You yeah, know what I mean? It, like it's, it's definitely good. It's a yeah. it's a wealth. You know, it's, it's pretty just, much the same as magic. I think that the Fable community, and I've seen this on forums, the Fable community is fucking pissed off oh, at the bullshit. Be. This this kind of crap. They're like, oh, we won't make a full, we won't make a Fable game. We'll make all these fucking bullshit spin-offs. So you got Fable Fortune, you got Fable Heroes, you have Fable The Journey, which was that stupid Connect game. Oh, that was and terrible. Like, everyone's just hanging out for the Fable Four, and they won't do it. No, well, so, Lion I mean, the Lion Studios Studios is gone, finished, but, but someone else can pick up the franchise so, if they so wanted so, to. This is another it's, Xbox it's issue. Another we'll Xbox talk about issue. this yeah. later as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's other games that no one really cares about. To no, be no one does ever. Yeah. Holy shit. Wait, go back up. Namco <laughs> Museum. What's that? Pac-Man, Rolling Thunder. Oh, gay. Yeah. I thought it was going to have Time Crisis. No. <laughs> I don't know why that would be on Switch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't be on Switch. It's funny that was a Namco. Um, that was a Namco game. The Namco game, yeah. That's weird, hey. Well, they developed the creator of... Um, Pac-Man died this year, right? Eh? The Namco guy, yeah. yeah. The, Namco. the Namco guy, that was his the, name. Yeah, Namco guy's son. Mm. Ooh, hi, 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 <laughs> bye. All right, cool. So, what time is it now, man? What time is it? Gaming news. The gaming news. This is a no objective gaming news update. Well, did you like that little jingle? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I liked it. <laughs> I was like, how did you put so much effort into that? I, I just spent Sunday just on the computer, just doing my crap. Like it took you, just went for the whole day. <laughs> yeah, I went for like, like okay. in and out with Malachi kind of thing. I recorded that with Malachi on my leg. So I'm like a <laughs> lap just sitting there. And he's like, it's like what the hell is he doing? He's like, what are you doing, Dad? But Uncharted, it's got a, had a demo out this week, basically, for, Ooh. you know, big wigs in gaming got to play it. But we didn't. But we no. get to watch the Gameplay footage. We're basically. not big enough wigs. Yeah, we're not big enough wigs anyway. But there's a gameplay trailer that came out along with it. It's 12 minutes. We're not going to watch it all, but we can skip through it. Yeah. Um, I want to see this. You want to see it? Yeah, same. I want to see it. But anyway, someone from IGN, Andrew, whatever the writer's name is, anyway, he said it's unlike any Uncharted game he's ever played. Yeah. He said basically you're thrown into an expansive area to explore. So it's almost got open world elements. So it's like a one level thing. This was only. Ch- Chapter four, this was. They got oh. to play. So, this is the whole of chapter four. They're, apparently, Chloe has um, lock picking abilities. So, you can lock pick crates that are out in the wild, like open and stuff like that. So, it's definitely got open world elements in this new Uncharted game. So, yeah, definitely looks really cool. Um, Ooh, so, let's yeah. have a look at this. Just make sure everything is down so we don't get. We audio. don't want them YouTube flags. Well, we got flagged for YouTube last week anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Did we? Yeah. For Call of Duty, man. Did Fucking you know Call of Duty. Bloody Call of Duty, man. Asshole. Forever flagged. That's what this YouTube channel should be called. Yeah. Get some flags. Cool. So this is gameplay footage. This is all gameplay footage. Yeah. So we could skip to something more yeah. interesting. Don't want to watch. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like Uncharted 4. The yeah. driving in that was pretty good. It was just like, it looks nice. Definitely. But so, yeah, so he reckons it was way more open world than just more of a linear-based game. You remember that part in Uncharted 4, like the, the desert area, like the that open desert area where you've got to drive through? Yeah, that part's that's right. so nice. It's not really desert. It's more like jungly Africa thing. Jungly Africa thing. Jungly Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, there's definitely still a market for linear kind of games, though. Oh, definitely. It's God, yeah. Definitely good for a narrative standpoint. Anyway, if they make it too open, these world, games are not. I guarantee you, this is not open world. This no, is an open world not. feel. It's like you know where it feels like it's open world, but it's more like just it's go it, here, go here. Yeah, go here, it kind yeah, of it yeah. gives that feeling. It's like Tomb Raider had those kind of elements where you can go and yeah. kill an animal and climb up this tree or whatever. Those are the best ones, yeah. I reckon. That just fe- they're not so like. You can do whatever you want because sometimes you just get like lost and you get frustrated because you've got to. This was pretty cool. Little sneak elements. Yeah. She that got was... a little FAL on her back. Uh, yeah, it looks like a. It is. Self loading so, yeah. rifle. No, this Gun looks great. Really nice. This looks awesome. This is definitely Horizon Zero Dawn stealth now. Everything has to this be. This was in. Long in grass. No, this was in Uncharted Four. Yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> But oh, everything's yeah. going to have it. Days Gone's going to have it as well. It's oh. like a Sony trademark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sneaking around in the tall grass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch out for those Pokemon, man. They'll be out there. This just looks fucking sick. Oh, yeah, dude. Obviously. Oh, get dead. Yep. It's just Sans Pistol. Finally, there's a Sans Pistol in this game. So, it definitely looks like Uncharted. When do we get to play as the, the tough guy, the tough South Look African woman? Boom. Yeah, he just got fucking owned. Bitch. I wonder if she's even in this chapter. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. Good Rough. night. Fuck face. What's going on down here? Because we can't spend too long Yeah, on this, this is just Chloe. Yeah. It's all Chloe. So, that's fine, but it's not as... Yeah. I want to see the... They're probably going to release that later, where it's going to be like, oh, look. Look at all the fighting you can do, because she'll be, like, brutal at... Like kicking ass. Oh, all, yeah. Like... She was, man. Far out in Uncharted 4. She she's... kicked bum. Yeah, she really <laughs> nails you to the wall. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, So that looks really cool. I can't wait for that, dude. Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys have heard me spray on about the Final Fantasy franchise forever. Too much. Too much? Well, looks like China's still into Final Fantasy 13 because this week, this Nissan ad came out, right? And it's got friggin' <laughs> lightning... From Final Fantasy 13, driving the new Nissan car. Oh my god! Yeah, and snow and everything like that. It's just we'll put it up on stream because it just looks bad. Like <laughs> I think it's the worst looking ad ever. Nihao. Yeah. Uh! <laughs> fucking cringy. Oh god. Yeah, fucking cheesy as fuck. Yeah. So Chinesey. And so these are 13 characters. Yeah, this is a, a scene from 13 as well. Oh my god, father! Yeah, I. Oh, oh, some parkour, <laughs> parkour. <man>. <laughs> <laughs> parkour. And he's just skateboarding. So yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just really bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just. Oh, <gasps> she couldn't believe it. Yeah. Oh, oh snap! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Fuck. finger guns. Yeah. Get that off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Play that. Oh, so bad. But anyway. That player unknown's battleground is going to have its first esports tournament on the twenty third to the twenty sixth of August. Damn! So there's going to be eighty people who are going to compete in three events, and they're going to determine the winner out of those eighty. <coughs> out of the three events or whatever they're going to do. So I don't know how it's going to yeah, probably the best performance overall. Yeah, in format this game. that'd be interesting to see. But anyway, the prize pool is three hundred fifty thousand dollars, which cool. is massive. So far out. See, this is. This game's gone big, man. Mm. It's going to be up there with Overwatch, though. What was the budget like on it? Do you guys know? No, it'd be nothing. Well, yeah. It's yeah. tiny. Like it's... I think it's only a $30 game anyway. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. I just want to... I'd be interesting to know how much they spent on it and like how much sort of profit they it's made. It's like an it. engine plus map. It's like a, I think I don't know how many maps there are, but like all it is is a game engine, weapons and clothing and a map and, and like some maps, but it's just not... Re- procedurally generated or... Um, no, no, they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they're, oh, I'd say the weapons are procedurally generated, yeah. but the, the map is probably, um, a consistent map. Oh, well, I don't know. Actually, it's got different maps as well. Yeah. Oh, like, so, does it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're bringing more, um, costumes in this week as well. Like yeah. more little outfits and stuff. It's so. really light, like yeah. crazy. It's like Overwatch where it's just like, you have characters, you have a few maps and you just play them on there. Yeah. 
So it's definitely going to be, it's definitely big. And apparently, um, there's lots of crates and stuff you can buy in this game as well. So get different weapon skins and clothing skins and all that kind of stuff. So they're doing that micro transaction type of stuff. Yeah. What game doesn't? Yeah. yeah that's much. fine. Like but, whatever, especially for a game. It's cheap. You can't complain about micro transactions anymore. Really? They're just in fucking everything. Yeah. yeah. They just exist. Now. You vote with your dollars as well. If no one buys them, they will stop doing them. So. Yeah. <sighs> what a pain. People do. People it's do. It's crazy. Fucking oath. Just to look different in the game. Yeah, and it it blows me away. I think um my mate Chris, he plays a lot of Dota, and he had a Dota two skin for some character, and he sold it for two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> and all it did was change the outfit and changed how the weapon looked when she held it. Like there's insane. a market. If there's a market, yeah. And he because he had the skin and didn't use it, and you can keep it in your Steam inventory, and he sold it from his Steam inventory. Oh, that's how he did it. So to be made... fair though, like microtransactions do have a lot of positive benefits. Like if you look at Halo Five, the reason they released all their post-game content for free was because their microtransactions did so well. You're kidding. Okay, so they weren't just doing it because they were nice. They're like <laughs> they kind of said <laughs> like Microsoft subtly being nice. Yeah, you know, oh, the, the reason the game has got all this free content was because rich fucking bastards are sitting there buying. Packs on packs on packs of these gold. It's packs. Funny that, like, because you, I, I don't, I don't have any. Like, I can't imagine that. Like, Overwatch has the loot box system, but I just, I'm like, no, nah, you unlock them in the game as you level. So I don't, and I don't need. No, you don't need them. Oh, that's like Halo Five. Like, you don't need them, no, but people skins. want them because there's like skins, there's, there's stances, there's obviously vehicles, and then and weapons and unlocks. So it's like, oh, it looks cooler. Like, yeah, okay, but it doesn't change the game. No, no, not overly. Yeah, I never got into that stuff. No. Buying things just to look different. No. Guilty but. of it for Halo Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Filmist, this uh, World of Warcraft server developed by fans to emulate... They made it last week, basically. to em- Well, been working on it forever, but it came out last week. To emulate how... Um, World of Warcraft looked in 2007 when Burning Crusade came out, right? That was the, arguably like the the big. That was the <laughs> that was great... the first release, of, first basically expansion for World of Warcraft, and it changed how the game worked. And everyone loved it, and it was huge. And everyone talks about them golden days of, of Burning, Burning Crusade. Crusade. Yeah, I've heard that. Michael used to talk about that. Yeah, like oh, it's the best thing ever. Oh yeah, now it's just crap. But anyway, it came out on 21st of July, and it shut down a few hours later from a cease and desist letter from Blizzard straight away. So they can't even have their Burning Crusade era anymore. That's, that's kind of sad. Like, you know, I didn't think Blizzard would do something like that, but but I guess there's probably I bet you there's a reason why that they, they can't have that. They're I don't, probably I don't know not paying I'd... a subscription for the server. It's probably a fan made server, and they're just playing a game just there. Yeah. So they're not getting any money from it. It makes me sad though, because you know those those things for people they're kind of nice. People like that shit going back to the heyday. Yeah, and I think it's fantastic that people do this, but yeah, I don't know. It would have taken a lot of time to balance yeah. the game and change all the code to make it play exactly how it did from Burning Crusade. Because apparently hunters had to stance dance where you had to stop just to get your auto attacks off and they happened every two point something seconds an auto attack automatically happened. But if you were moving at that second, it wouldn't go off. So you had to time your movements oh. in between these 2.5 second intervals or whatever to get max damage. Like it was full on. People worked out every little tiny thing for this game. But now it's just easy. You can run around and still get auto attacks no matter what. And Warcraft's crazy, man. Yeah, oh, it's huge. It's people are nuts, man. I remember being in a raiding guild and people are like, okay, so at seventy five percent, this is how much damage. And oh, come on to me. You've got to pull your damage up by two point four percent just to reach this damage cap here. To this, it happens, and it's all this crazy algorithm. There's one dude that's just working it all out, and he's watching the damage meters for every single player. (laughs) And making sure everyone's doing it properly. God damn. Yeah, they put markers all over the floor and say, um, casters here, ranged here, melees here. And that's just like everything has to group up in certain places at certain times. It's full on. But no, it's definitely good. But yeah, it's a bit sad that they can't relive their golden age of that game or relive their youth, basically, because they're probably all in their 30s now anyway. People that played that. But anyway, more from mods anyway. Zelda Breath of the Wild, a group of modders actually decided to make a multiplayer mod for it. Mm. But it only works on the Wii U emulator for PC. And um, they're, they're planning on working on it to get it out to everyone so everyone can do it across like, the internet, basically, to play multiplayer. But at the moment, it's only working on split screen. So, so have, on the same PC? On the same PC at the moment. But So this is like a, a picture, basically, of what it is. So one guy's on the horse, another dude's on the ground. 
so oh, you wow. can explore this multiplayer world together. That's cool. Yeah. Like, especially Zelda, how much people love that game. Imagine, like, when we tried to do Skyrim, we tried to mod Skyrim and get the two-player version. Oh, yeah, fucking... It's just hard, like, some of those games, to code that in. Oh, it'd be insane. And this is actually a Wii U game, but they've ported it onto the PC and modified the code yeah, from there. It's, it's just... insane, these guys. They're friggin' smart, man. Give them jobs. This. Yeah, give them jobs. Jobs instead of... this, Because this will probably be taken down. As soon as it goes it live, be. it will get taken down by Nintendo. Of course it will. Because Nintendo are assholes like that. Yeah. But anyway, it's working on split screen, so you can go ahead and try and get it working because it's probably a mission to get working as well. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, if you go searching on the web, you can find their Discord channel for the people if you want to help mod the game as well. So they're really asking for help from everyone from the whole community for Breath of the Wild. So, cool. Um, what's this one? Yeah, so anyway, remember, like, oh, I think it was the beginning of this year, dude, I was telling you about that Ready Player One book. The audio book you listened to? Yeah. It was, I've seen this trailer. Yeah, it looks unreal, man. And this is like, because I, I remember reading or well, listening to this book and I was sitting there going, this is awesome. It's all VR related. You stick your headset on, mm. you live in this world. And this kid, like basically everything can be in this world. A now. glimpse of the future if yeah. VR is what people think it's going to be. Yeah, and it's awesome. Yeah. Like this kid goes, oh, going to school in Oasis, it's called. It's called Oasis, yeah. this world. is better than going to school in the real world. This because is Spielberg making this movie as well. Yeah, it's huge. But anyway... Because when you go to class, you can actually go back in time, virtual reality style, to say wherever they yeah, want like to go. Yeah, like Civil War or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you can be a part of it on all this kind of stuff. And it doesn't matter. And school is, you can be whoever you want to go to school. But basically, you get, you pay a certain amount of money, you get a headset and a laptop just to go to school. And you're stuck on that school world, basically. So there's different worlds in this virtual reality world. And you're stuck on the school world. And you're a poor kid living in the ghetto in the real world. Yeah. And it's all the stuff breaks out. Basically, the guy that creates Oasis dies and hides this um, special treasure in the world. And you have to go and find it. Don't spoil it. Yeah. So it's going to be awesome. We can watch the trailer if you want. Um, we, but you're no audio, so it'll be pretty boring. So I think just check it out for yourselves. Yeah. You look at it. It's okay. It looks yeah. good. It definitely looks good. Oh, wait. Stupid like Guardians of the Galaxy kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is anything you can think of gets put in this world. Mm. Anyways, more news about the Overwatch League that's coming out. Um, players, or the selected players that join the Overwatch League now are going to make a minimum of $50,000 a year. They have to if they join the league. This is huge. It's mm. awesome for Americans. They get health insurance included housing when the league's on or if they have to go and do any events they get provided any kind of accommodation basically and 50 percent of the winnings for a performance bonus will be given to awesome yeah um this is awesome this is going to be the next level of esports this is going to be actual teams and people are going to go to stadiums and watch these people play fuck yeah Yeah, it's gonna i would watch i wanted to go i wish i could have been out in city for the fucking group stage last weekend i would have absolutely gone like if i if it was in if it was a convention center i would have bought tickets like and there's no doubt about that i don't know why like you it's like in some ways it's better than watching like real sport yeah we both have russian beards (laughs) (laughs) niglet king (laughs) (laughs) gg oh man yeah so, um, I think this is unreal that Blizzard's put these rules in for any company that's going to. They have put to on treat Overwatch it like League. it's a business. Yeah. They have to. Otherwise, they would abuse be... these little kids because most of them are probably going to be like 18 that are joining the Overwatch League. There is a few issues at the moment. Uh, a lot of the players are not. Some of the players, some of the big, like top 500s and GMs who are pros are a bit off Overwatch at the moment because the meta, like, so you know how, like, like for for if put in your mind, like World of Warcraft meta would be like, oh yeah, we need a hunter mage combo. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to output enough damage because of the way they've nerfed the other DPS oh, classes, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So in the, at the moment, there's a dive meta. So what it is is like you need to run these particular characters at the top level of the game. Otherwise, the other team will run them and you'll just get stomped. So like it's it's kind of it's a shame because it means that the, you, you see the same characters all the time. Um, it's okay, but it, it just needs to change. And yeah. that new character that's come out, Doomfist, which we'll talk about in a second. Well, yeah, this is the um, next piece of news. Yeah, he's uh, he's hopefully going to change things up. But I just think, like, it's disappointing that a lot of them are saying we're done with Overwatch. I think it's a bit of a publicity thing, to be honest. I don't really like. No one else cares. 
I don't care if you're done with it. It's like, all right, good on you. We don't like if you don't want to play it anymore. Fair enough. Yeah. But like, it, over, they Blizzard does need to do something about that. But yeah, I I don't um, I honestly don't, I don't know why, um, you would just be like, oh, I'm pro and therefore I'm going to announce to everyone that I'm not going to play the game anymore, because it's just I'm I'm burnt. It's like, dude. Shut up. Yeah, it's like you think you're. A, you think anyone cares? Like, good on you. Just some guy. Yeah, we'll just grab another grandmaster yeah. player and chuck him on. So I will. Uh, I will absolutely be watching Overwatch League. Yeah, absolutely. I am keen to see how it kicks off. I reckon it's gonna be yeah. unreal. Hopefully by then. Hopefully by the time it starts, the meta will be a little bit different. So that different characters you see different like lineups because it does get a bit old. You know, but that's like every sport and every game. There's there's strategies that work and strategies. Yeah, that don't, well, they just so. got to change them up. That's all it is. Yeah, like, that's all these buffs and nerfs will happen, yeah. and then we'll adjust things. So, but anyway, but yeah, so I can talk about this. Yeah, Doomfist came out. Yeah, he's live now. Yeah, Last so he's night, off he... the public test realm. Or whatever yeah, that's right. It. Yeah, he's on the actual game now in quick play. You can't play him in competitive yet. Oh, okay. They give him a week. They give him the week. Okay. So you have to like the idea yeah. that you can't just like get it and jump into competitive and throw games because so they you can suck balance him in the no week as well p- is ptr it? is for balancing okay. quick play is for learning him all right and then it'll go to competitive like give it a week so people can learn how no to play no one wants it. to drop their sr no one no, wants no well that. it's it's just that it it's not really like if if you if i get on a team and someone's like oh i'm going to play doomfist i never played it before and you're like fuck man no one, you don't know how to play it it's like well then don't play it go yeah. and learn it in quick play like any other hero and then come back but um, I played Quick Play once last night and I wrecked the guy who was playing Doomfist on the other team. Oh, really? I wasn't playing him. I, I don't Is he re- a tank class? By- no, nah, DPS. Okay. He's DPS class. And he's just a melee DPS. Yeah, he, but he's a really... He, like, he, so he has abilities to like, jump in the air and then charge his fist and just like one-shot you with his fist. Whoa. But if he misses that, he can be a little bit fragile. So he's oh, a yeah. real like... Glass cannon kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And he's got a really big hitbox. So I was playing his Zen. He's a big character. He's massive. He's yeah, he's a big, fist. big yeah. fucking like righteous guy. And I kept headshotting him over and over again as Zen. Like he kept coming after me, and I'm like, dude, you're not gonna get me. Like I promise you, he died every single time he came near me. I'm like, dude, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> just give it up. So like, it's easy to hit. So he's you got to play him a little bit differently. This is on quick play though. So on competitive, once he comes in, people will be a bit better. Quick plays just for like so that guy would have picked him up and been like, hmm, I don't know what I'm doing. And then obviously, yeah, no, I just gone, I'm going to use this charged up fist ability because it looks cool. Yeah. And, and then got, you're killing him every time. Yeah. It just got yeah. smashed. So, um, it'll be good. Hopefully, he changes things up and yeah, well, makes the game a little bit different because it, it, it does, I mean, admittedly, like after a while, I'm like I'm sick of seeing the same heroes. And, and in this meta support class, you just get smashed. Oh, really? Yeah. Like it's all it is is like, the enemy Winston and the enemy Diva, they come and dive the, the support. That's it. Ah, oh, okay. Like, so as soon as you kill the enemy, whoever kills their supports first, you've won that fight. So, it's getting old, that technique, well, basically. Well, it is. Yeah. And as a support player, I'm just like, cool. Forever oh. dying. And then, and, and because I'm at Platinum, people don't know to peel for the support. So, yeah. like, the DPS or someone should either sit with the support or peel back. Once they Once they see them dive over, they go, oh, shit go back to support and keep them alive, no one does that because they're just uncoordinated and stupid. Yeah. Well, they're probably not looking at that. They're looking at kills. And, That's right because yeah. they're, they're like DPS tunnel vision all the time and support, it's not, you can't tunnel vision. You have to be like all over the place. Yeah. You'd know. That happens in any game. Like yeah. Any M- MMO, they do the same thing. Yeah. DPS get tunnel vision and they just looking at their stats and their damage and they stand in everything. Yeah, so. but it's different in yours because you're not playing against people. No, it's like cooperative. Yeah, so it. you'll be all right, but... On this, it's like you don't have chance. You, once they dive on you, you've really got like three seconds. Bef- if they don't, if you don't kill them in three seconds, you'll die. Can you run up as a support? Can you run to? You can move, but Zen, who I play as, yeah. doesn't move quickly. He has okay. no mobility whatsoever. Um, and Lucio, who you often play with, he has a lot of mobility, but a lot of the time he's not with you, so oh, right. okay. he's got to be with tanks and stuff. So it's it's tough, but you just deal with it. Cool. I just I just shot call now. Yeah, I just tell everyone. I was all all last night. Every game, I was shot calling. I was like, "All right, you go over there. You do that. You do that." And they just don't listen. Don't. I'm like, I know what to do. I'm like, you do this. I promise you will win. Don't listen. No, nah, you need to go to Diamond League. That's what you need to do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what what league you're in. Apparently, really, people it's... don't listen. People are just jerks. 
Oh. It's, it's fucking the internet, man. <laughs> it's Australians. I found that Australians are some of the worst gamers. Like when I played on Aussie servers for WoW, far out of a shed. I hated it. People just don't like being told what to do, even if I'm saying it. I'm not saying it in a mean way. And I'm I'm like, oh, you know, maybe you try this. Maybe jump off that character and play this character. Fuck off, man. Yeah, Yeah, I've had the exact same thing in Destiny 1. You're in a fucking raid with some fucking Australian cunt and you can't get through. And you fucking tell the bitch. You're just like, mate, you need to swap to fucking Hunter, put on your fucking bow, do fucking, do the shadow bow, then we can all up our DPS. Nah, I'm going to play as the fucking Warlock. Yeah, great. Doesn't fucking help anyone, mate. Yeah, like, no. You're, you're only DPSing for yourself, yeah. and we're not getting through the boss. Yeah. That's sort it exactly out. the same. Fucking See, sort I, it out. I'm playing on Japanese servers for Final Fantasy XIV, and it's great. The community's unreal. Everyone's willing to help. Even if you're bad, they're like, oh, can I help you out with you? No, that doesn't yeah. fucking happen. No, it's like, <laughs> no, no If you're way bad, they just fucking tell you to leave. Yeah. Oh, I they'll did. kick you. <laughs> yeah. on, um, kick. Yeah. on Thursday night, I got in a six-man group. Just someone, I played in a, fi- a five man and I was the only one that wasn't in the group. And then after the game, they added me to the group and we, went, we played a couple of games as a six man and just stomped. Like normally it's really difficult, but because they were all like really positive, they're all like, yeah, man, all right, I'll play this. Yeah. You want to play that? Yeah, I'll play this. And I was just like, fuck. And it was wild. Like it's you just, good. You need to create your own Overwatch team kind of thing with them guys. Just I, ask Well, them, I added, I feel, I had yeah. a few of his friends on there and I've still got them on there. They're, they're, they were just good dudes. Are they Aussies as well? Yeah, all yeah, Aussies. Yeah. Sweet. Some That's Kiwis. Good. We get Kiwis on there. Oh, yeah, bro. Dirty Kiwis. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's stop talking about Overwatch anyway. That's we get, I, I'm, It tempts me to play this game every time That's we talk right, about it. It's all right. I'm going to buy my old account and you'll be playing. Yeah, and then I'll be playing. Okay. That's right. So you know how we talk about retro games on here and how ridiculously... It's always Nintendo. It's always Nintendo. It's always I Nintendo. swear they always go up and down. had enough. All right. But anyway, this sealed copy of Super Mario Bros., the original on the NES... Bros. Look at that, look at that. Ready? Look at that. Twenty-six dollars it was bought for originally. Which was probably like sixty bucks yeah. back in the day. You wanna see it there? Thirty thousand dollars one like thirty thousand dollars basically it's sold for today on eBay or this week. How good would you feel if you owned that and you were like, I'll take thirty thousand bucks and go buy a house or something like that? Yeah. Well, how is that other one? What was the stadium events that sold last week for it was like over a hundred thousand dollars? Oh, that's right. Insane. That shitty game. Look at this. Thirty-seven thousand dollars Australian. That's what went for. Oh. Man, and that was far out. That would have been yeah, yesterday afternoon. Far out. Man, insane. Anyway, let's stop talking about that because I get really salty at people that own them games. Hey, eh? yeah, like, oh, just I want it. But it's like it's not with the console. Is it Sega? Is that happened with them? No, nah, it's nah. only Nintendo. Nintendo has this fucking weird cult I think, yeah. prestige thing. Yeah, pretty much. And I think it's just but it's because weird because they don't release a lot of shit. That's really good. No, not anymore. They have like three things that are good. Yeah, they Zelda, just like, maybe a Mario. Yeah, yeah, Pokemon. Zelda, <laughs> Pokemon, and Mario. I was like, and it's like, yeah, there you go. Everything else is weird. But it's like Pokemon, you can't even really call that Nintendo. Pokemon is on its own back. It's got a, It was originally a TV show. No. It was originally no. a game. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Originally started the game and then it went to cards and then, po- and then TV, was it? Or was it? Oh... Because I, I remember think the cards was a spinoff of the TV, yeah. wasn't it? Okay, because I know that Red and Blue came out before there was anything. Are you serious? Yeah, I didn't even. Wow, you were blowing my mind. Yeah, I remember listening to something about that, and I was like, "Holy crap! Yeah, this is insane." Because Red and Blue, you didn't have an wasn't like Ash or anything like that. It was like just because they were released in Japan quite. A f- I think it was a year or so before they were released in. Get Western up early to watch yeah. it on Cheese TV, son. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Cheese TV. <laughs> they still have a Facebook page, didn't you know that? What? Yeah, the t- two guys. I think they run. Cheese TV. The two guys who were on Cheese TV run a Facebook page, and they're <laughs> oh. they're always on there saying like, "Oh, you know, we will get Channel Ten to bring back Cheese TV. That'll save Channel Ten because you know Channel Ten's going into administration." I didn't know that, but that's that's insane. It's good. That would probably save Channel Ten. Yeah, <laughs> I'd fuck Channel watch Ten. It. As and long as they only back. played Dragon Ball yeah. Z, Sailor Moon, <laughs> Cheese Sailor Moon, uh, <laughs> Sailor Moon, Pokemon, Digimon. Oh all yeah, the, dude. all the good shit, man. Yu Gi Oh, I fucking love that oh. show. I didn't watch Yu Gi Oh. Uh, Beyblades, man. Beyblades. <laughs> it was a bit later, yeah. <laughs> Beyblades was king. Dude, did you know what I saw kids playing with at school this week? Finger Beyblades. Spinners. Oh, Beyblades. Yeah, and they'll go and let it rip, and they'll like let spin it, them it rip. <laughs> God Fuck damn you. it! It was awesome. <laughs> um. Anyway, so Final Fantasy 15. I randomly just got a deal, new DLC. Well, it's not now. Isn't it? So like, was it beta, whatever, closed beta. But anyway, it's coming out next week. And it is a multiplayer DLC. And mm. you get to create your own character and you get to do all the cooking and fishing and questing fun with your friends. 
<laughs> cool. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'll play it. You I don't have any friends on PS4 who play this game. No, like Jordan would never buy it. No. Nope. And uh, <laughs> I don't think you would have fun cooking with me and no. uh, fighting <laughs> monsters. So. How, much they, how much do they want for it? Oh, I wouldn't have a clue, but I know most of their DLC is around six bucks. Oh, so yeah. this came with the season pass. It was like 25, 30 bucks yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So good on them. This is the first multiplayer type of DLC added to a Final Fantasy game. So, And they've been adding monthly patches to this game as well to add more content. Mm. It's like an MMO, but it's just bizarre what they've done. They've kept heaps of their, their programming team on and they're just adding all these bits into the game every month. But I haven't played any of it because I finished the game and I think that's all you should do with Final Fantasy games. You should finish it as is mm. when it comes out and that's what the story should be. Oh, there you go. No add-ons. I think that's the case for probably most games, but it doesn't seem to be the way it is. Yeah. Mm. But anyway, so um, there's a few screenshots for it that we can pull up. So these are already... These are some players that they're already created or whatever. Uh, let's bring it up. Here we go. Um... So there you go. They're taking on some behemoths. Behemoths. Um, it looks like that guy's got samurai sword, and it's just basically the same combat style as Final Fantasy XV, but you could do it with friends. Mm. There you go. They're hanging out, about to set up camp. Coleman tents. Yep. The Coleman tents and the Coleman camping gear, everything. There you oh. go. There's a lightning. Oh, that the, poor cactus. Yeah, the cactua. Why does it look like that? Ah, <laughs> uh, there's different versions of them, basically. Of course but, there is. Yeah, it's... It's Final Fantasy. Anyway, there's the clothing you can pick from when creating your character. But yeah. Anyway. Yep. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. And I've, I kind of want to get it, but then I've got to still play Episode Prompto. That's another DLC they released two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Get through Final Fantasy V. Yeah, I've got to get through that. And then go through Zodiac Age, Final God Fantasy XII. Damn. So I'm going through all of them, man. Yeah, it's do the, it. the, the reliving the 30 years of Final That's Fantasy. Right. That's do what it. I'm doing. Streaming it like yeah. a boss. Like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> Um, All right, what, are, what else have we got here? What's this fucking... Oh, God. Okay, this one's pretty sad. So, PlayStation Plus has been $69.95 here. It's always been cheaper than Xbox Live. Is that cheaper? Yep. Huh. Xbox Live's 80 bucks, isn't it? If, yeah. Depends I think it's 89 it. I Depends think. Depends on where you buy it. Yeah, if but you the... get it from Europe, you'll get it cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Is it, what's the go with it? So, with PlayStation Plus... You can only buy it off the PlayStation Store? No, you have... can get it off. You can get yeah. codes from other places okay. and mm. stuff, but... I, to be honest, I've always just gone and bought them straight from the store. Like, I've always wasted money. Like, I spent for seven years worth of money for Xbox Live. Yeah, but you did a subscription. Yeah, I did the subscription <laughs> and just left it go. And I just went, and then I was like, oh, I should cancel that. Oh, it's already taken out the yearly fee. Stuff it. And I'll, I'll do it next year. But Never. surely if you cancel it, it gives you the rest of the year. No, nah, oh, it gives no. you the rest of the year. But yeah. Because yeah. it's not monthly installments. It's one time payment. You yeah. get that whole year. So I got the last two years for Xbox Live, 50 bucks each. 50 bucks a year, yeah, so that's good. that's all right. That's cheap as. But anyway, yeah. PlayStation Plus has gone up to $80 Australian. Ugh. I don't pay for it anyway. Oh, I don't pay. And that's starting on the 31st of August. So buy up big I'll have to buy go. it to play... Destiny. Call of Duty. Are we playing Destiny on PS4? Yeah, because it comes out a month later on PC. Oh, yeah, so, we can't really do a review. No, nah, we'll, we'll jump on the PS4. Well, now that later. i got the Elgato, I can... I could we yeah. could well one of us could at least stream it. Yeah, we could do something like that. That'd be cool. Um, I don't even think you knew about this Monster Hunter World coming out, did you? Okay, no. so Monster Hunter is like usually a Nintendo title, and it's like basically you go out and it's all you can do it co-op basically with your friends, and you can go out and just take down massive enemies. That's what this whole game is. Show about. me the pictures. What's um, it look like not that one. Not that one. You've seen that one. Yeah, you've seen the Final Fantasy. I don't want to see it again. So this is um just a weapons demo, right? Of like the new weapons coming out. And we can have a little look-see at this. If it loads anyway. Stupid ads, man. Don't go to QUT. Don't, don't do go it. to QUT. Don't do it. It's <laughs> a trap. Off. It's a trap. Look what happens when you go to this university. You will travel the world, except you won't because you won't get a job because you did a degree that gets you no job. In feminist dance study. <laughs> <laughs> Monster Hunter World. Okay. I'll pull it up on the stream anyway. Yeah. So you can do this with your friends. It's like kind of like a Dark Soulsy combat style. Yeah. Where you're taking down huge monsters. Looks all right. Not really my thing. Uh, yeah. It's 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 cool on Nintendo basically because they don't have any games like this except they don't have for any this. games. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah. And this is not even on the Switch. It's only on 
the uh, 3DS as well. Yeah. Oh, and PS4. Well, no, it's not. So this is the first one for a long time that's been on Sony. Basically, this is the first no, one. No, I'm saying this one will be on this PS4. This one will be on PS4 exclusively. So it won't oh, be on wow. any other console but PS4. So Could use a bit of blood there, hey? Yeah, it is Nintendo we're talking about. Though, yeah, it's so. true. But anyway, that's what that is. Eh. Eh. Eh, eh for eh. Jordan. Yeah, I, I haven't even played any of them on 3DS. Looks too, well. like, Japanesey. Way too Japanesey. <laughs> Weeby, and it, yeah, you you've, you gotta have you gotta have fucking blood. You've gotta have that shit. I mean, yeah. it just doesn't. It, there's so many. You, you're trying to compete with so many other games that are similar to that. You really gotta you gotta raise the bar, and you gotta do something yeah. different. And if well, you just do the same shit that's already out, fuck it. Like that game that Scuba showed us that's coming out on PS4. That really weird looking one that looked scary, but it was like really violent. It had like epic combat in it. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't what, what it was called. called. Yeah, but it was just like creepy and like gory. Mm. Looked awesome. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. It's people are really excited for this because apparently the last Monster Hunter game was on PS2. Oh, and that was it. Like on Sony anyway. God but damn. all the other ones have been on 3DS. They come out like every two years from mm. Nintendo. Anyways, um, Ubisoft, right? They're trying to fix For Honor. Yeah. Good luck. And uh, I did. So Gamespot did put something out on Twitter and was like, Ubisoft are trying to fix For Honor. And I put like a little comment underneath and I said. Does Ubisoft ever fix anything? No. Or are they going to bring out Four Honor 2? <laughs> and then I. this thing blew up. There's people going nuts underneath. And some people were like, have you even played it? It's getting better. And some people were like, oh, have you played Rainbow Six Siege? They've fixed that. And I'm like, no, I haven't. And have they fixed it? And and then other dudes were supporting me saying, yeah. Nah. Siege was, um, I think, I believe it was a, as a response to Overwatch. It was supposed to be like, they wanted it to be an esports level game. I remember that watching some... When they first released it, the guys from Achievement Hunter played it and they're saying, we want to make this a competitive level game. And I do think they have tournaments, but I just don't think it's like as good. Like I know it looks like it's probably a great game, but I don't know if it's esports level. No. Nah. I uh, I don't know. I don't think I anything of that game. I love Rainbow Six. You love Rainbow Six? Fuck. It's, I, yeah. it's just yeah. so good. But I just, I've never played Siege. I played Siege. I played it all the way through. Yeah. And then I played some of the multiplayer. The biggest probably drawback that I found with it and maybe other people didn't was the, it had the same kind of buggy issues that the other Rainbow Six games have had. It didn't have that smooth gameplay that Call of Duty and Battlefield Mm. have. And that will push players. Like the market for fit for first person shooters is fucking triple A. Like if you want to compete, you've got to fucking have the best Mechanics. Tri- the yeah. best mechanics. It's the the environments have to be awesome. You have to have heaps of fucking choices with guns. And initially, when it came out, it didn't have that stuff. Now I think it does. I think they've got a lot more content. They've got a lot more going this on. This is just like I hear this every time we do this podcast. Now it's now that it's a yeah. year later, it's got more. I'm like, I don't. What happened with making a good game on release? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I just like I when we put, went to that retro market and I play all those old games and like. I got everything is in the game is here. Yeah, in the game. they I never don't... got an update. They never got a DLC pack. No. It was that was the game you bought it and you played and not, the crap out. Not to out say that it. you can't add things to games to make them better. Yeah, but like at least when you release it, don't have me go. Where's the rest of this? Oh, like yeah. Battlefront, the Battlefront syndrome. It's just so that was so people bad. doing it all the time. They did that with Final Fantasy 15. If they released the game what it is now on release, it would have been a way better game mm. than what it is now. I just right. that, that is we need to have that on like fucking repeat. Yeah, I'm sick of that. I'm just done. I'm just I mean, uh, For Honor was a complete disappointment anyway because the, the repetitive combat mechanics fucking shit me to tears. Apparently, the hitboxes are way off as well. Some characters don't even have like usual standard hitboxes and stuff like that. And yeah. Like, yeah, it's pretty weird. Yeah, I mean, like, look, environments were really nice. The gameplay was fairly good in terms of like it wasn't wasn't buggy. It didn't have a lot of sort of frame drop or anything like that, but that the, we played the camp. I played the campaign co op with a mate, and fucking like it was so goddamn short. We finished it in a day. Mm. And I'm like, is that it? Well, like, they didn't even announce that there was going to be a co op until like the week before it was released. Yeah. 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 So, and then, and then we realized that the game's heavily focused on PvP rather than. Oh, God, yeah. So, yeah. We, which doesn't interest me. Like, it really doesn't. It's just a third person hack and slash PvP. Yeah. Throw it in the yeah. bin. Like, I you're fucking, like a one play shooter. Well, anyway, yeah. how they're going to fix it is they're finally going to put dedicated servers for that game. Because it was old P- 
P, uh, peer-to-peer, like, you know, one player hosts yeah, the game for the whole yeah. lot. Yeah. This is how they ran it. This is That's old technology. They needed servers. So they're going to put them in there, but they said, oh, it's still going to take a while. No. So it's it's going to be a long way off. How so, long has it been out for? Um, It's been out for, it came out beginning of the year, didn't it? So around February, March. Yeah. So it's, uh, that's yeah. way too long to wait yeah. already. It'll be out next year. It's no, there's no point. Just let it die. Yeah. And just go, all right. I think they just, they've done the same thing that they've done a couple of times now and they're really starting to piss off their fan base called yes. Ubisoft and they need to, they need to fix it for that reason. Yeah, the new EA. Oh, yeah. At least EA fucking did the right thing with Battlefield 1. Oh God. Fuck yeah. yeah. Like one year they got voted. <laughs> Battlefield 3. <laughs> oh, the release of that. Fucking that hell. Was, yeah. That was God. really bad. That, that was, was bad. really bad. Oh, again, yeah, was hey. This- I could say the same thing again. Fucking, you know, give it four months and the game was fucking sick. Oh, God. But <laughs> that, that was, initial that, release. That game when we, after fucking a month was just... Sim City. No, oh, that was... That never <laughs> got good. <laughs> that <laughs> stayed <laughs> bad forever. <laughs> they gave us a free game for that. That was so <laughs> apologetic. Yeah, that you're like, please. Well, Even Battlefield 4 had a rocky start. Well, yeah. that year, they got voted the worst company of yeah. the year. Yeah. EA did, so... <laughs> need to be Ubisoft this year. They've released too many games that have... Fizzled. Oh well, they I just. Don't... I feel like these companies don't put the time and effort nope. required into these games. They try and just push them. They're kind of like blockbuster movies, like, like yeah. superhero movies. Come on, like, we've got to get them out in this holiday period. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Call of Duty. Hopefully, they don't go down that path. They've been fairly good with yeah, their. Yeah, they've releases. been towing that. They've been close there been a few close, times but... with those. Not that their games are bad, just that they're samey. They are, but I mean, yeah. I don't know what you can really do to change it. Yeah. Oh, but anyway, so I don't think anything of that game. And I I know Shane bought it and he played it for a week and then never touched it again. Yep. So, yeah, well, I did the same. Played it for yeah. a week, took it back, traded it. In. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't do that. I just, so really, I didn't pay that much for it, which was good. Yeah, Oof. that's awesome. If I had done, I would have been pissed off. That's, oh, that's yeah. funny, isn't it? That's dropped that fast, the price has. Yeah. When you see good games, then they stay there at that high price. Like Call of Duty's, they stay at 79 or $80 for the until the next one comes out. Then no, no, man. Out. Ollie and I were trying to pick up Copy of Black Ops One. Oh, and Remember they still it? sell that for fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and we tried to find a, tr- a pre-owned copy at EB, and it was like forty dollars. Yeah, mm. it's ridiculous. Even if you try and buy them on key sites, they're still forty dollars Australian. And it's just like, who plays this? No one plays it anymore. You're only yeah. going to get it to play the zombies. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. And you want a game that holds its value? You get a fucking Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. At least then, when you trade it in, you get some money or sell it. Yeah, true. But anyway, more player unknown battleground news. Um, so this week, this player I was playing him, he was just having fun and he sniped this guy from far away and it came up on the kill thing saying, you've killed, um, what's his name? Some big streamer anyway. A little bit later, he got banned for seven days. Apparently he got banned for stream sniping, which is looking at a streamer's location and, sn- and sniping him from far away. That's unreal. But he wasn't even looking at that streamer. Like game basically, he wasn't even watching the stream, but he just saw the name come up after he killed him, and they're like, "Whoa, we've killed him!" Like they they didn't know, and yeah. So he's to be honest, I don't care. I sh- it shouldn't be bannable that because it's like you're, if you're gonna put your position out there, and that's the internet, right. That's your fucking problem. That's yeah, exactly. Right. But right. apparently, well, it's not apparently. The stream for when you stream on Twitch, it's about a ten second delay. Yeah. For you playing it to yeah. when the yeah, audience yeah, yeah. sees it, so he could have been in a different location anyway. But I think maybe this streamer must have got a bit salty and uh, sooked. went and sooked. And, and that's fucking bullshit, eh? Yeah. yeah, what a dickhead. It just means that if you want to make that complaint, you should just stream all your games. And then if you do get killed in that game, just say, oh, he streams not me. Oh, he stream killed me. Yeah, yeah that's so dumb. Apparently the streamer's name was Shroud. So that's his name. Good on your Shroud. Yeah. Some fuckhead. Yeah. There, so, is some more, there is some more Overwatch news I've got to mention. Yeah. So, so there was like the whole event. That's what I was going to ask at the end. Like the at the end of the uh, Australian win streak. Are you going to talk about that? Yeah. Last week? That's yeah. what I was going to say. I'm like, the group stages were finished. Yeah. So in the end, we lost uh, the one of the group games to Sweden 3-1. So we beat Portugal 4-0 and Italy 4-0. But then the third day, we lost to... Sweden 3-1. So they went through as top oh, okay. seed to the finals and played uh, Spain yep. in the finals and they beat Spain. So they went through. We had to face Japan who were like a massive underdog. And um, the f- like we like the first game we lost and it was just like, oh God. 
And then the next three, they won. And they made it through to the fucking BlizzCon. So Australia is in the top 16. I think it's a top 16 wow. for I love uh, the, the fact World that Cup. I wonder if it was like the home ground kind of thing, you know, where, the you know, fucking, where footy players the noise, been on. Yeah. The noise was nuts. I watched all of it on, on YouTube afterwards yeah. and I was just like, Because apparently they say that for um, footy games in America where like, if they play a home game, they usually win because of the crowd yelling Absolutely. and it actually puts oh, off yeah. the other Home's, team. Yeah, hometown advantage is, is would be in there. Like you can't they have big headsets on so they can't hear the commentators. Yeah. But Well then that would be cheating, wouldn't but it? Because it's so they know loud. what's going on. <laughs> It'd be so loud that like, yeah, you'd you'd still be able to hear the crowd and everyone's cheering oh. you on and they did really well and it was it was so cool that it was all that adrenaline and all that psych. Oh, you'd like, be, that was yeah, so dude, how fucking rough would you feel? You'd be like, fuck yes. Yeah. The team like you got through like a World Cup group stage for like a massive online game. And it's little underdogs Australian. Like, yeah, you know, Australia's not, you know, we don't, we got 20 million people who live here. It's we've been not playing like, on 200 ping for years yeah. until only the last five years. It's like, <laughs> and now we've finally got decent ping. It's like, these guys are actually pretty good. Yeah. We've been so that was cool. To... So uh, yeah, Australia's <laughs> off to the World Cup. That's awesome. That's insane that Australia's off to the World Cup. Put us on the map. Gamers, yep. mate. Yeah, boy. Aussie gamers. That's right. Well, that's enough of the news. That there's, um, let's get into our top topic of this week. And that is, we're going to be talking about the future of Xbox kind of thing. Or is Xbox dying? (laughs) Which is definitely not happening, but it's just a cool clickbaity little title. Um, Anyway, so they've, they've talked about this Xbox one X, right? So Xbox sales are down. They've always been down over PS4 at the moment. Mm-hmm. Like PS4 is sitting at 52 million and Xbox is sitting around the 20s. So They reckon it's that. They, just they reckon because it. Xbox aren't releasing their sales figures. Mm. Um, but they predicted that it's around that anyway. I think the last recorded sales figure was in the 10 millions. So, But anyways, do you think the Xbox One X is going to save the Xbox console and make more people buy it basically from... The 4K capabilities are a lot better than the PS4 Pro and the hardware performance is huge. And do you reckon they're going to get some good exclusive games in the future that are going to push this console to be better than Sony at the moment? Or do you reckon they've kind of damaged <coughs> their console's name and they've just got to release a new one to pick up again? Like, you know, how well, they did with the P- Xbox 360 was huge. Oh, yeah. 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 That was the I best. Don't, I don't really see how they going to that point of damaging their name. I don't really see how they've damaged their name. Maybe they don't, they may not, might not be making as many sales as PS4, but I don't think that their reputation is damaged. I don't. Yeah. Well, where does that come from? Oh, it's mainly from memes online. A lot of memes and focus on Xbox hate has been around at the moment (laughs) because most of their studios, their exclusive studios are shutting down rather than bringing out quality games. I mean, their flagship game, Obviously, Halo isn't going anywhere. No, in that's terms... definitely esports worthy at the moment. It's going strong. Yeah, for the game. Yeah, they just had a competition. Yeah, they they the definitely need to have some more um, exclusive narrative driven games. Yeah, which they they don't have many of those. I can definitely be in support of that. Yeah, the Fable series was fucking pretty much oh, dead. Yeah, and it sucks because Fable I'm, is like... Fable's awesome. Well, they went. They I don't know why they went down this Fable Legends bullshit path that was fucking stupid there's a lot of fable fans out there that won the net that won the next game and i but. think that's what aaron's talking about when he mentions the memes he's like people are people are noticing a pattern of like bad decisions mm. so if you if you notice the, the bad decisions and you go you don't necessarily go after the first one you go what the fuck that's so stupid but then if it keeps happening kind of, kind of like yeah why? like i was hoping for big things from e3 this year i was hoping yeah. for mm. a massive exclusive game that would push i was like console. There's got to be some like Witcher esque thing that's going to be like. I don't know how big Sea of Thieves will be. I've only seen some very. Which one was that? Sea of Thieves is the new open world like pirate, pirate game where you can yeah. go and explore islands and. It's very PG though. Oh, I, bet I think it... that's probably yeah. one of the. I reckon it looks it. unreal. It looks great. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. But it's very. It's got that fable kind of style in yeah. terms of like art and things like that. But in in respect to. Whether or not it's going to appeal to audiences over twenty, mm, I yeah. don't know if that's mm. going to happen. Again, we'll see. It's in very yeah. early it's, beta. Yeah, so. it'll be out next year apparently. Yeah. Mm. So they got State of Decay coming out the next year as well. Yeah. That's going to be cool. That'll that be is going to be cool. The first did one was awesome. Well, one? State of Decay Two is coming out. Yeah, right? yeah, I did. It's yeah, a good game. Yeah. yeah, I'm um, not like saying State of Decay is like going to carry the console, but it's a it's a good game. The game yeah. that carries it is Halo. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the and, reality yeah. of it. But that, that's. 
That is disappointing. Because like because you, uh, you don't want one to carry. No, like no. PS4 oh. this year has had Near Automata, Neo. Um, they've had all these awesome games that just came out at the beginning of the year, and they've sm- like there's been a surprise because they're new series, new IPs, and mm. exclusive to PS4. Well, think. they well, Xbox has had a few uh, that aren't on that list. There. Yeah, like, I just you got like randomly Recore and like a few other ones. We that can have go come the out. whole list here. Recore. Yeah. What's that? Uh, it was like I think it's a title for around thirty dollars, where you kind of you're a it's a third person sort of world explorer game. I guess it's talking like double A at least releases. Yeah, I don't think that that's double A. Yeah, oh, it might be. It might be because Near Automata and Neo were probably like they're not quite triple A. <laughs> they're not, but they're like Near Near Automata has been. Yeah. Blowing up People like that. I love that, that game. Yeah. I still got to play. I, re- I reckon the combat looks like Devil May Cry. Yeah. Apparently, you have to finish it three times to get the full story. Whoa. It's, <laughs> it's full on the way. So, these are all the games that, if it says console, that means it's an exclusive to the console. And I think if it says yes, that means it is on a Microsoft product. See, that's the so thing it's as on well. The like cross platform kind of. Xbox model. doesn't have a lot of exclusives anymore because even Halo Wars Two is an exclusive. No, no, it's a mm. it's a Microsoft it's on exclusive. Yeah, yeah, we were a little bit disappointed by that decision. So, even so as PC gamers, I'm like, no, keep some of them to yourselves, like because you want that. Do you reckon? I reckon you'd want that. I, I know it's like money for them, but they're splitting their market. You know what I mean? So if you go, oh, I can get Halo Wars 2 on computer and it might be a better experience, why would I get it on Xbox One? Well, then their sales don't look as good and you don't have as many people who go, I'm going to get an Xbox just to play that because I love the original. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's their decision. So they've got Crackdown 3 coming out this year. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that'll be a big game. Yeah. that's yeah. That, that was the one that I remember I was like, that was the only one that I said, that's cool. I didn't. I don't necessarily like rate many of the other ones. Obviously, other than um, what was it? Um, the zombie one. I've forgotten. No, oh, whatever. They got yeah, they got Save Cuphead K. coming out. Man, you gonna buy that? Yeah, I'm gonna play that. <laughs> that was a huge title from E3. Going, oh look, we got Cuphead. They do. Yeah, I know that game looks <laughs> fucking dreadful. They they need to sort like the Dead Rising series. They're actually quite good. Yeah. However, I. I don't enjoy them, but I know that a lot of people do. Yeah. It's a bit sad that Dead Rising 4 is only a timed exclusive as well. That's pretty... I don't think... Yeah, and, and that's a, not a good sign. Like with the um, Tomb Raider timed exclusive as well. That, yeah. That's a bit weird. I think those companies are like, you can have it, but we're not. there's no way we're going to sign a contract that says you can have this exclusively to your company because we're not going to sell as much. Because they put their ass on the line <laughs> to not get a big name for themselves if they don't release it across all consoles. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not getting salty at Xbox saying you're crap. I, I, I no, do. But, but I like we're it. all like, like 360 fans. Yeah, like I had, I've got an Xbox One, but I, I had it for a year, and I was still sitting there going, "Where's my Fable? Where's my games I want to play on this mm. console?" Because the 360 was friggin' unreal for RPGs. They had heaps of JRPGs. They had Hironobu Sakaguchi came back and released a new game after all his years of sitting in retirement in Hawaii and it <laughs> blew up. Like, it was amazing that he even put it and he put it on exclusive on 360 mm. instead of Sony where he was, his old Final Fantasy games were originally exclusive for that. So it, it's, oh, it's just sad because I got the day one edition of the Xbox One and I haven't seen anything good from it. So far, like I mean, it, it's still a good console. Still works. I like the UI. I hope it works. We well, see that. Well, that's the thing as well with it, as well as like in relation to the physical or the, sort of the, the hardware capabilities of it. Xbox and PS4 are relatively the same. They do the same thing. There's not a lot of difference between those two yeah, consoles. There's only on slight them. differences. Yeah. yeah. What's this, is it? CPU difference and graphics difference. That's it. Um, it was yeah. It was like the uh, the GDDR5 RAM difference. Oh, that was that was actually the main. That was the only. That was the core difference between the lot. Yeah, and that, that was, was the, the the. That was the issue for the basically not pushing sixty frames on most games. That's in right. Ten eighty p. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that was the main issue, and it was kind of like oh whatever. Didn't not a big deal for a console because consoles, man. I I enjoy playing a console in thirty frames a second. I don't care. Like it's mm. you've been playing that for years up until this generation. I still think it like you can point the finger at their old CEO, and you can hold it there for a while. Yeah, because their old CEO was an absolute gibbon. Like, did you see how he released that console as well, saying like just. You know, it's all in one entertainment system. Yeah, like, we're not gonna we're gonna games, watch TV. We're gonna watch this. We're gonna do everything. That's all what like, they're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. It you also missed out Forza. That's a oh, Forza is huge for game. racing. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah. In respect to 
they're trying to move away from gaming. I think both both consoles are guilty of this. Um, and but and they're trying to encompass your YouTube, your Twitch streaming, fucking internet browsing. It's like fuck. I have a computer. Yeah, do it all. Like, I don't know. Focus if, on games. Yeah, I don't know if I, PS4's I the... done that enough. I don't think they've done as much of that as it was Microsoft. I can give them a lot of credit for their backwards com- cap- uh, compatibility. Compa- yeah, compatibility. That's awesome they've done that. And they're going back to the original Xbox as well, which is awesome. Like, yeah, yeah doing they that? have. They've remastered some original. Like Voodoo Vince just came out. That's See, that's cool. I, I enjoy that Xbox. they're doing this. They're, they are a software company, Microsoft. So they're doing what software companies mm, do best and yeah. make cool There's emulators. There's only so much that... nostalgia you can run off before mm. people will go, hey, come on, where's, where's something new though? I'm kind of hoping that next year's E3, they drop a big bomb and just go, we got this game coming out. And everyone goes, holy crap, this is going to be cool. But I was hoping for that at this year's E3. Yeah, yeah I was so, hoping for Especially like a, with a new a console release. Yeah, exactly. So what's really pushing the Xbox One S's base? Oh, what, Xbox X. One X. What's pushing that console at the moment? 4K updates? That's it for games. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you can play non... Um, Speci- like non-exclusive titles in 4K, so you can play like your Call of Duty World, uh, World War Two. Yep. Uh, Battlefield One, I think, will get an update for it. So there'll be a whole bunch of games that'll get this 4K yeah. update. So if you want to, if you have a 4K, if TV. you have a 4K TV, I'd say fucking get it. If you're into consoles, yeah. it's a bit of a price point. What have I got it on there at the moment? It's selling at EB Games for six forty nine ninety five. So it's quite a lot. Um, it's definitely more expensive than the PlayStation 4 Pro, but I feel like the PlayStation 4 Pro wasn't that big of a deal. They had yeah. this HDR. That's, that's all they for added. like. That's honestly like for, for that's a media system. It's yeah. like you, instead of getting a PC, get a PS4 Pro, and you just do all your multimedia through the PS4. That's all yeah. you would do. But other than that, I don't know why you'd buy it. They've got HDR, which upscales everything to 4K. It's not true 4K. They they haven't released any PlayStation 4 true 4Ks, like native 4K. Because Uncharted 4 had upscale, didn't it? Upscale as well. Yeah. So it's all upscale. And that's what Xbox is going to do as well. They're going to upscale it. But Forza, the new Forza game, is going to be natively 4K mm. for the Xbox Scorpio. So it's going to be... Mm. That's going to be amazing. That's the, the first console that can ever do that. They've said that with that game, like when you when you got the starting lineup, say if you're the very back of yep. the 20-car lineup, the car that you're driving will look exactly the same as the car at the very front. So there won't be any pixel drop or anything like that in, in respect to it. So they'll all be 4K cars, even though to, unless you have a massive TV, yeah, <laughs> you're not going to really be able oh, to appreciate no it. Yeah. But it's the idea of that. So it'll make scre- like screenshots will look insane. Oh, and yeah, if you're just, into like recording game footage or anything like that, like it'll look It'll insane. blow your way. Yeah. Don't, this whole conversation so far has been... 4K. Look at this 4K. <laughs> look at this, look at this, look at this. But I'm like, which I one d- of us owns a 4K? But, what, but not even that. Like, sure, we will, we will eventually. Yeah. But yeah. like, but do you think this generation of consoles well, like, is going to Like, there's only like, what games am I going to do in that? What like awesome games am I going? Holy shit! I can't wait for that. I mean, yeah. a lot of people feel that way about the Gears of War series. I mean, I'm I'm not a massive fan personally, but you know, like I did obviously like Barry is and and yeah. and the other and his brother is and that and mm-hmm. there are like yeah. I, there are quite a few of them that get around. So when the 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 new fucking Gears of War dropped, like four, they fucking got around it pretty hard. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I I, like- I just don't think there's enough. It's almost like they they're not so massive like they're, they're always like yeah that's a good game but there's nothing that's like unless it's Halo there's nothing that people are going holy fuck like that's I will have that and I you know everyone you know, sort of like every Xbox player is gonna absolutely own that yeah. you know cause you're like oh I like Gears of War like that game looks fucking cool but I'm not losing sleep over not playing that whereas yeah. I need to be like if I look at if if I had an Xbox and I was look, oh, if I had if Xbox was had uh, Uncharted, I'd be like, man, I can't like, and I look at all the scores or like that or yeah. But you like to be fair though, you did grow up playing Uncharted. So for me, I look at Uncharted and I go, meh. Yeah, because I, guess I never played never any of them, it, yeah. so I so I was no well, interest I've, to me. Well, yeah, it's I've only played been both. out the last decade. The though, difference so. is I've played both. So yeah. I've played I played all the. Xbox 360, good exclusive, you know, the major exclusives, not yeah. every single game, but yeah. I've played and I've played Uncharted. Yeah. And I didn't play, I played barely any PS3 because I was pretty much gaming with you the whole time. So it was always yeah. 360. So I played barely any and I still was like, no, but every Uncharted that comes out, I'm going to buy that. Every single yeah, one. Okay. 
So like I definitely was definitely was like that game in particular and then obviously when The Last of Us came out it's a different story but like that those there's certain games and now because of what we saw at E3 from PS4 I was just like a like day's gone. Days Gone looks cool. The new Spider-Man game actually looks unreal. Like it's crazy that game. I, I was like I've never been interested in Spider-Man before in my life. Until you like, see that, I was yeah. like, that's a in game. Oh, it looks like the Batman Arkham Asylum series. It but looks like, like that, but with Spider Man. Psycho fighting. Yeah, like you're flying through the air and yeah, your buildings true. are falling down, you're web slinging them all. And, yeah. yeah. Like I don't like Spider Man at all, but still was like, you turn that into a game, people are going to go nuts for that. Yeah. But Days Gone looks like. Days, if Days Gone comes out and it sucks, I'll be so disappointed. But if Days Gone comes out and it looks like it, what it, it's going to be what it looks like there. It's it w- going to be like the, what people are waiting for in The Last of Us. It's going to be like The Last yeah. of Us if you could go around and do different things. And I'm pretty sure that what they're showing of Days Gone is just going to get better. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Because yeah. they're working on it a lot. And this, well, I don't even know what the company's called that's um, producing it. it. Yeah, but anyway. It looks like they're doing a good job. It looks like cross between... It's, what those, it? it's what you were saying before. It's the gory... R- RPG... Like long single player, gory, like really visceral games. Yeah, that, it looks like, like The Last of Us cross between Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, yeah. and re- it looked a bit like Red. I said Red Dead because it's sort of got like that. You can go into the bush and there's animals, and I yeah. guess it's probably like hunting and foraging. Bad game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck. That's right. That's next year. Oh. <laughs> That's so sad. It's next year. Oh. But yeah. Anyway, so look, I honestly don't think. It's not going Xbox anywhere. is going to die, or because no, no, I no, think no, it might no. level out in the end. Because I did the Switch I was in the last hoping, generation. I hope the score. I was wish the Xbox One X was a new console. Yeah. Like maybe they pushed. They, maybe they did the 360 and went. All right, it's been three years. Well, yeah, I think that's all the Xbox original was out for because it cost too much. The unit was sending them broke, and they had to release yeah. the Xbox 360. And apparently, all it was was the hard drive that was in the Xbox original, cost way too much to mm. produce. Hmm. And so they just bit the bullet and went, look at this. I reckon they could have just Bang. smoked Sony and been like, here's our new hard drive. Uh, all games should be developed for this now. Yeah. And then developers go, fuck, all right, that looks good. Like now we can get more quality out of our games. And Sony's left going, fuck, we've got to release a new console. Yeah. And it took them a while to do it. But yeah, it still, the PS2 is the world's greatest selling place uh, console of all time with 155 million units sold. So, <laughs> like, yeah, it's crazy. That- yeah, fuck. That's it's huge. Yeah. yeah, it's massive. And then just under that is the DS. <laughs> of course. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was actually going to say that. I was saying, oh, is that including handheld? But yeah. Yeah. Right. Just under. Just under. With, I think it's 120 mil for the DS. But anyway, I'm thinking because, like, say, last generation, I bought Sony PS3 day one. Well, not day one. I bought it four months <laughs> after when that first price drop went down. Oh, yeah. So it was like. $700 instead of $1,000, but yeah, it was still too much for a console. And I was bought this console. I had nothing. Had no games, but Resistance. What a crap game Ugh, that was. That was garbage. Uh, Heavenly Sword, which was garbage. Oh. And Grand Theft Auto 4, which wasn't that good either. Eh, I probably disagree. Grand Theft Auto 4 was fucking sick. It was sick. great. Yeah. Yeah, it, was, it was okay, but it's no It was definitely yeah. the weakest of all of them. Yeah, yeah probably... but still fucking... Streets ahead of oh. other fucking games. Oh, hell yeah. the but that was when the, remember when the, you first saw the physics and when you nailed people oh. with your car and they're tumbling <laughs> over you. Just well, like... that was the thing that kind of shipped me off when I first played it because I just you know I've been smashing fucking San Andreas oh, and Vice yeah. City and then you play GTA Four and you're just like oh the car's fucking hard. Oh, to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like a <laughs> tank like... and it just wasn't really oh, good going it was around the corners. So awful. I mean, it was good because it made it more realistic. Yeah, but it was also like oh fuck, this doesn't. This doesn't t- do a 90 degree turn in, at fucking max speed yeah, anymore. Yeah, and the GTA true. 5 was like, yeah, well, we got you sorted. <laughs> <laughs> you can do these unrealistic Sorry things. Sorry about again. that. We'll we get it right this time. But anyway, so I jumped ship. I went, PS3, you're done. Yeah. I'm going to go over to Xbox 360. And for a while, they had nothing. They had Metal Gear Solid 4, which everyone must play yeah. if you're a Sony owner. Hell yeah. And then other than that, it was like, wait for Uncharted, and then that came out, and you were back. Yeah, and you were back for a day, and then you finished Uncharted. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Like, every game I played on that generation was either Uncharted for PS3, or it was 360 everything. It was yeah. just going over to Ollie's house and playing 360. And it was, it, man, the 360 was great. But then in the end, if you look at the sales figures, they both sold 80 million units. Yeah, so like once they caught So up, no one won in the end. Mm. They were both exactly the same. And I think that's going to happen here. I think the Xbox One X is going to come out... A huge price drop is going to happen in a year's time. And then 
it's going to slowly catch back up. And hopefully they drop a big bombshell right at the end with this new next-gen game that can only be ran on the Xbox One X efficiently and it's going to just boom themselves for Xbox One X. Yeah. Because I'll probably get one only because my three, uh, my Xbox One has had a fucking heavy workout for the last three years. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not having any problems with it, but I'd imagine that that may happen at some point. They're only meant to last for... I think they've been getting a shelf life of three years. And your consoles are only three years. You're a heavy gamer on the Xbox as well, so mm. it's getting used. Every it does. Day. I use it every day. Yeah, yeah. So in respect to that, and that's good that it lasted that long. Like that's good. It didn't the amount have of any hours issues. that I've had that on for running games, mm. fuck, yeah. like yeah, no, it's good. It's definitely good. But I reckon Xbox 360 got more sales because people just bought new consoles after the red ring of death. Happened to me. I got it and just went and bought another console. Never went through warranty. So why not? It, yeah, because I mean, it, it only la- the warranties at the end after you bought the after the first edition. They only had a year warranty on them, and so the Red Ring of Death happened after the year. Oh, so they did that. Yeah. They only brought the warranty in for the Red Ring of Death. I never had that. Gen. You never had it. Never yeah, had my, it. my brother's uh, Xbox had it. Yeah, I had it twice. You had it twice. Yeah, fucking hell. But now that I know it's an easy fix, I probably should have kept the console. You, oh, it's just re-screw it back on and open um, it? It's just you got to... just the heat sink falls off of the CPU. That's it. Yeah. So it just gets that hot that we, it pops off a little bit. We did the towel trick for ours. Yeah, did it work? Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah. Because it basically it heats the, C- the heat sink up on the CPU that much that it comes back down onto the CPU, <laughs> which cools it back down. Yeah. That's Well, that's all it is. It's just an overheating issue. Yeah, wow. we wrapped it in a towel and left it there and it, and it fixed it. And I was just like... That's ridiculous. Yeah, but that, not yeah. good for the components in there. No, no. Clocking up over 100 degrees. To it did have to end up sending it away. after the, We got GTA 4 and it red ringed when we got it. Oh, and I was uh, like, fuck off. No way. Yeah. <laughs> so then we looked up how to fix it and yeah, the tower trick and that worked for a while. And Yeah. I like, I'm happy that Xbox is jumping on these MMOs as well. So they've got Terra online. They've chucked that on the store now. And they've got Black Desert Online coming as well. And Black Desert Online is a big game. A lot of people on PC love that game. To me, it's a grind. I don't want to play that game. I don't want to spend 70 hours fishing in that game because you can do anything in that game to get levels. And I've heard some streamers saying it was the best game because it was so fun with your friends. And he said that he used to cast it for 12 hours a day and fish. And then he said at the end of finishing casting for 12 hours, he went back into the game at a secret fishing location with his friends and fished for another six hours. God. Like, it was just insane game. Like, just fun, killing monsters and just doing whatever the hell that game does. I tried to play it and it was weird. It was... Korean. Oh, it was so Korean. (laughs) And I couldn't do it. And me and my mate Colin were just sitting there going, I freaking hate this game. Let's not play it anymore. So we went and started playing Guild Wars 2 again. There you go. So it's similar I mean, to Guild Wars 2. I got to give the Xbox some credit when it comes to like their discounted sales. Like they, they have almost gone, not quite as far as Steam, but they are doing pretty well with their like heavy discount sort of like... That's good. They have weekly mm-hmm. games that they heavily discount or they have like their big sales like once every few months or whatever. So. Yeah, you got to do that. Uh, and this... I don't know, it's PC... Do, uh, PS4 do that? Is they that... have discounts every so often, but they're on... Like sometimes they're good. Like... Mind you, like they they they're selling, uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five, for instance, the other week for sixteen dollars Australian. Yeah. <gasps> so that's pretty good deal. Holy crap! Yeah. That's yeah. good, man. I would buy that. What's well, like? It's like I've seen some. Come, I can't think of all of them on top of my head, but it was like Sniper Elite Three went for like eighteen bucks, and like there's a whole bunch of games, you know, like yeah. they, they. So they they are trying to compete with Steam, which they fucking need to. Oh yeah, because they've got the whole Windows Store option as well. And yeah, but mm. I like the thing I like about that option is you can buy it once and play it on both platforms. Yeah, which the is multi-platform yeah. game. Yeah, because I've got now Halo Wars Two obviously on PC, although I don't have a good enough PC to run it. But yeah, yeah, so. that's, that's awesome that you can do that. I, Whether I, or not how useful that is, yeah. I, I guess really it's good either. for PC owners. Say, say for Jordan, for instance, yeah, if he yeah. wanted to pick up Halo Wars one day and down the track, I think it's gone for eighteen dollars on a key side at the moment. So it is damn cheap, but you can just pull it up in the Windows X, uh, Windows Ten Store and play it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And then so, you can play it on your Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. If you have one. Yeah. If you have one. So it's kind of bringing gamers together almost. Like, so, oh, you don't need our console. You can still play the exclusives. Yeah. Which is good. It's bringing sales up for those. The only problem. Well, I don't have a problem with it. I'm. I'm glad that they didn't have the same servers for the games when you're playing PvP because you're playing, honestly, console versus fucking PC at an RTS, oh, oh you're going to lose. Yeah. No, you'll always lose at that. Because you just can't move around the map fast enough. 
And yeah. see, they, I think they should do it for some games, though. I really think they should bring it together because, like, say Final Fantasy fourteen, for instance, that's cross-platform from PS3, PS4. It's cooperative, so it's okay. Yeah, it's cooperative. But, yeah, yeah cooperative, you play across all different. servers. And I think that's... I hope they've done that for Black Desert Online and Terra. I hope they've, br- like, brung that to the same servers instead of having an Xbox server because then it's going to be dead as anything. So mm. I hope they've done it. I haven't looked into it, to be honest. But I don't know. I... I'm really hoping for a fable if they just drop it. I don't think it'll happen. Yeah. It's sad because that was, I have fable two was such an awesome game. Cause they'd have a lot of models and skins and storyline for Fable legends. So they could fucking try and incorporate that into a halo four. But I, I was, I watched a video about why halo, halo series is uh, not halo fucking fable series is, um, shit itself is because they, they've argued, or the developers argued, that the time frame between each game was too big. It was like 500 years between each fa- between each Fable game. So they said that now they've sort of run out of where to go from here. They're like, we don't know. Because they got like post-Victorian era. So yeah, because it, it changes eras every single game, basically. Yeah. So. Well, maybe it doesn't need to change. Like well, I said, like, how many how many side stories can you do in 500 years? Like. You yeah, could do a lot. Like, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah, like that's not, that's a, that's it's all a, about the hero. I was like, I was though, like, it's a bit of a cop out. Like, yeah, it is. you can easily create. Like, you could just go back and try and make a game similar to F- Fable One. Exactly. Go back to that that combat style. Sword was awesome. And, I like that combat style as well. Better than the way they did it was just one button for like, say, you press one button to attack. That was it. And yeah. one button was for magic, and one button. If was they for did this, guns. if they went, if Sony went, we're going to shut down Naughty Dog. Yeah. Which will I would fucking day. be like, <laughs> fuck off. And then I would go straight to Xbox. I'd be like, that's it. I well, don't care. That's what uh, Hideo Kojima did. He went, Konami pissed him off and he just went, well, stuff you guys. I'm going to Sony. But, but, but what I mean is like, <laughs> if I was a fan of like a particular franchise, it was like, oh, this is my fucking game. Yeah. Like Uncharted and Last of Us and... How would you feel if that became not an exclusive Sony title? If Naughty oh, Dog ended care. up... You wouldn't I'd, care? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I know that I'm saying I wouldn't... That's, that's, that'd be good. Yeah. More people should play those games. Yeah, Obviously. Definitely. But I'm saying that if they close that, like Lionhead, same thing. If that happened and someone took away one of my favorite games ever, yeah. That like that's that's where I'd be like, I think who Lion- made that decision? What's his name? I've forgotten the guy that's the CEO for Lionhead. He was, the, the, the primed writer was Peter Molyneux. Yeah, whatever that dude is, I thought he was. I think he ruined the company, to be honest. Oh, really? Because he had just wacky ideas, but they could never get there. Like how Konami was kind of feeling with Hideo Kojima. He had all these crazy ideas and the game would just never get released because of him. And that's what that was happening with him, I feel, with that game. Because he always promised so much and gave so little in every game. Mm. Like the fact that for Fable 2, he promised all these amazing things but you only saw a little bit of those amazing things. Mm. He was just a good salesman, basically, this guy. And I think he was the main reason why that company shut down. I wouldn't be surprised. They probably wouldn't say it, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's his His ideas were just running out. Because he did Black and White, and that was, that was an amazing game when that mm. first came out because it was the first kind of game where you played God and you could change things in the world just by moving things or changing decisions. Yeah. And so he had that idea, which was amazing. And that's why Fable 1 was so good. You had the the bad and the good decisions you could make, which yeah, was that moral, revolutionary at the time. The like, moral questioning. Yeah. yeah. Which you see in now a lot it's of games. Every game. Yeah, like exactly. Karma systems. And I think he could, he ran out of ideas. I think he just had nothing. Oh, let's make this dungeon crawler, like fable MOBA type <sighs> title, whatever this legends was going to be. I never played the, beta. I think the fable fan base was big enough for that. And I don't think the fable fan base wanted it. They wanted a story. They, yeah. They wanted another continue on from fable three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We never, never really f- found out you know what happened to that black shit at the end of no fable three like it kind of like yeah we defeated it but where did it come from like the corruption yeah. or whatever they called it it's like you know. I, I i do i hear a lot of people say fable three was awesome and they ha- they didn't like fable two that much and i liked fable two more than fable three no nah, the, the what i hear is the other way around you reckon yeah. people hated fable three over yeah. the other two because I don't know. I, I like I, that's how I feel. Yeah. But a lot of people hated Fable Two because of the end. You know, the end boss scene. You don't fight him. That's true. You, yeah, yeah. You only pull <laughs> out the music box <laughs> and you play it and you win. Like it's <laughs> like, why did I even show up? Why didn't yeah. I just email this fucking music box to him? <laughs> or fucking mail it. And then you become all good. Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, 
I, I do I do like Microsoft. They do amazing things. They do cool things for their software systems. And I do believe that Xbox has always had better software than than PlayStation. I do believe that because Microsoft have way better technicians that can work on software than Sony does. Like the fact that they can go and do backwards compatibility through just a software emulator that runs off that disc where Sony wouldn't touch it. Mm where they've never touched it. And their first console that did backwards compatibility all the way back to PlayStation 1 and 2 costs $1,100 when it first came out because it had hardware in it. And that's why when the second gen came out, they scrapped backwards compatibility for PS2. So, yeah. So, you wonder, yeah, it's just decision-making. Yeah. It seems like decision-making on in Microsoft is maybe they've got too many... I too many people making weird decisions and they're not listening. Maybe. Well, they've got how many CEOs have that? Because if you can't fault them on software, something's wrong. It's like yeah. you obviously, like sales figures, you go, all right, gonna, you've got a big gap in the middle. You've got sales figures and you've got angry people. Yeah. Some angry people. What's I think there's the a lot of. I think, I think Xbox, though, has become the fucking the butt of a lot of jokes in terms of like PC fucking right on it and then obviously PS4. Fucking hate it, yeah. hate it. Yeah. So you yeah, get I understand that you I get kind of like two two yeah. groups of people. Probably like, like I think you get very few Xbox f- players giving it shit. You, I don't. Maybe you do. Fuck it. I don't know. Oh, you, I wouldn't have a clue. Like, it, like the but, only person I know is Shane because he's a PC player. That's yeah. it. Like, he was Xbox forever, and then he got PC, and he went, "Oh, what's this crap?" Mm. But that's how it should be because PC is the master race. You got you everything gotta on there. You got to pay a shitload more to get that. Yeah, you got to pay that's, triple that's, the amount yeah. to get a PC. Wrong payout. Wrong. Yes, he <laughs> only here went PC, and he he just had issue after issue. Yeah. He had a bad experience. I he think. got kicked in the balls too many <laughs> times by that. shitty PC companies and, and yeah. bad hardware. Uh, but see, I don't know. I'm hoping for good things from this console. I'm hoping good things from the Xbox One. Yeah, X. if you if they you need don't, to, they need to have exclusive games. That's yeah. that's and that's I, the, that's pretty much the only complaint. And I think this. I don't give a fuck whether your console doesn't have as good hardware as PS4. I don't give a fuck if it's. No console will ever be as good as a PC, but if you don't have games, that's it. It's just the whole reason. Why do I buy a console? To play the games. Yeah. I don't care about your media system. I don't give a fuck about your 4K. What are you going to give me that I'm going to be spend 30 hours in front of a TV for? And what is going to like move me? What is going to like change my life when I play it? Like because there's I haven't played anything on Xbox since Halo 4 that was like like just blew me away. It yeah. was like exclusive, sorry. You know, like that That's true. That was like I didn't play Halo Five admittedly. So I can't like maybe I that haven't was. played that either. And I probably should because I have played every game in the title. Uh, in the series, I mean. I'd recommend title. it just even you just do the campaign yeah. to play that. That's through. all I've ever done for the Halo. The best part of Halo Five that I found was fucking Warzone. Holy fuck. Is that a multiplayer mode? Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Like, yeah. cause I, as I said, they gave out all this fucking free post release content. Fucking heaps of it. Like, yeah. you know, new maps, weapons skins fucking everything so they did a game mode warzone which was supposed to be like a slightly different version of warzone uh f- so warzone firefight from odst yeah so firefight from odst so it was mixing that with the warzone game mode that they had in it so you have a group of four of you uh, eight of you sorry and you run through and there's about five different bosses that show up and you have to all defeat them together it's kind of like i guess a destiny strike if you yeah. want to compare it to something it's probably similar to that that's cool but it's fucking fun like you can sit on there and just go map after map, and all oh. the boss. So every map has different bosses, so you can play the same map again, and it'll have different bosses on it. That's yep. good. So you're not playing the same fucking thing over and over again. That's, that's cool. And, that's... and they're putting that into Halo Six. But how was the campaign? Is the story kind of they've run out of ideas, or is it still continue on pretty strong? Or is it going strong anyway? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they did a whole. They. That's obviously I'm that not was doing any chief. spoilers now. No, in, don't in... worry about spoilers. Yeah, just... but in respect to innovation yeah absolutely you're playing as two different characters you're playing as master chief and then spartan lock the chief is going fucking rogue because he's tr- chasing after cortana locks then sent to go and catch him that um, sounds cool like, that sounds like an interesting campaign because i loved uh, halo 4 where yeah. cortana finally is gone like it that wasn't that was big moment that was huge for yeah master yeah. chief so I love that. That was cool. Yeah, so. they they still have a few uh, the Prometheans in. They changed the battle style of the Prometheans where they were very very difficult Halo Four. Yeah, and a lot of people complained about that. So they made them. They're still hard. They're still difficult, but they're not. They've got. I think it's more easier to hit their crit points 
Whereas in Halo 4, it was very fucking hard. <laughs> Their crit points, oh, yeah. they took a lot of damage. Knights are still a pain in the ass. Okay. They, they didn't change. But, um, yeah, no, I'd rate it. I fucking, it. Again, like, everyone has different opinions on what they think of it, but I, I'd i say it's uh, as good as Halo 3 and 2. Yeah, Halo 4, plan. for me, was probably the worst out of all of them. In oh, terms. oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so Halo 5 is definitely better than 4 and I thought 4 yeah. was amazing when I first saw it, played it yeah. um, so we've got Sahir here, here he's been watching me play Final yeah. Fantasy 5 all the time in the chat hey go on man it's good to have you along um, I honestly like yeah that's I just mi- I miss that about like those, those the three the exclusives I played Fable 2 fuck yeah. man I miss that like yeah. I want that. I want that. Be like, fuck! I want to go over to Ollie's place and play that because I can't play it here. <laughs> I can't play it on my shitty fucking PS3. I need that. I'm like, I want. I want something to be like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna like, and then and then we'll just sit there and like, you just go go over there. You do that and you play this. And do, and it's like, yeah. I want that. I want an adventure game like that from Xbox. I it will. It has to happen. It will happen. It's just like, it's annoying that it's taking so long. Because if you are a console fan, you don't, you shouldn't give a fuck about whether it's PS4 or Xbox. You shouldn't be like, "Well, I'm glad that there's none there," because you because then like it reduces the quality of PS4's content. They're going to be like, "Well, we don't really have to compete that much with that because Xbox doesn't have anything to compete with us." It's like, no, you need that. You need yeah. their competition so the PS4 games get better. Yeah, and exactly. So the Xbox get better, and it's just a fucking game. Then it's like, who can beat who? But if they don't do that, and Xbox is uh struggling to, then then ps4 will get worse yeah well there's there's speculation that the next generation for consoles is going to come out in 2019 this is oh, okay. what people have been talking about the next playstation is going to come out 2019 so i'm interested to see what happens or if so, so if, xbox essentially will have almost two ish one year or something yeah of the xbox one x i should well, say well i don't know i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of keen to see if they sit on the back bench for a while like how Sony did when the PS3 came out. They kind of sat there for a year until they released their console. So I'm wondering if they're going to do that and watch how PS5 kind of comes out and sits on the bench and just watches and sees all the hate come through for certain things and fix it on their end. And Because that could potentially, they could jump, drop a bombshell on Sony. Problem again that. with that is that then if you're having different release dates for the consoles, yeah. it means that, yeah, Xbox One X will be ahead of ps Four, PS4 Pro, what have you. Yeah. But then the PS5 will be ahead well, of the Xbox One X. They also said hardware. that the PS5 is going to be half a step in graphical performance compared to what it used to be. Well, that's kind of what it felt like with, what is that the, even with this year. The one. So, so like here, like so where it went from so when it went from PS3 to PS4, it felt like half a step with graphics. It didn't feel like a mm. massive jump from it when wasn't. you played these old blocky characters no, from PS1 to no, PS2. No, the South Park episode about that. You remember that? Where they go, it's, it's the uh, the Game of Thrones themed one, where they all go to the store and it's like the it's all Game of Thrones related, and they pick up their Xbox One at the end and they plug it in and then they go, oh yeah, it looks kind of different. It looks kind of different. Yeah. yeah. So they're like, oh, the so that's good. what they reckon with the half a step. They don't feel like they're really going to be pushing them. It's more just going to mm. be an update. Like, that upsets me. Yeah. That's 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 a that's marketing and stealing your money at that point. Because I think that the Xbox One X will. It, again, it all depends on how you feel about it, but if it's doing everything in 4K, that will be what you could consider a full step in respect to if you're going a whole different fucking resolution, the oh, next one huge, up. Oh, it's huge, yeah. You know, that will make a massive difference. Now, now it's on the fucking game developers, though. To create games, that will, be, that will look insane mm. on this console. Which is unreal because they've gone mid-generation, gone to 4K. So, like, this generation is the 1080p generation. So yeah. last generation, they said high def. It was all 720p, and that's what it was, and no one could get any further. And this time was the 1080p 60 frames generation. But no, everyone's decided to go mid-generation 4K, which is crazy when you think about it. That should have yeah. been the next generation. Yeah. They should have waited and done that. Well, because like 1080p has been out since because they, don't they have first to. came out, but last generation. Is, it's the same principle that's always worked. They don't have to do it. They're not going to do it. If there's not enough people who are going to get upset about it, they don't care. And if they can make money from it, they're going to do it. Yeah. It's not about pleasing people half the time. Like people get upset over them not being pleased by like the release of a console and or hardware stuff. It's like you still bought it. That's your market force dictating to them what they should do. And if you don't buy it, that's when they go, fuck, something's wrong. It's like the Xbox One. They go, well, 
something is wrong, we'll fix it. Good, they do that. But they don't. If if you just keep buying the shit, they will keep making it. And they'll keep trying to milk you for as much money as they can, rather than being like, "All right, now we're gonna do the full step of let's get this to like some crazy good graphics or performance." The six. Six trillion teraflops or whatever it's is called. It, is it twelve K <laughs> now? Is that out now? Um, What's they, the next one? Every time you go to, to CES at the beginning of the year, they always introduce these crazy K numbers, like everything eight K, twelve K. It's been going on for years, that kind of thing. But it's all concept at the moment. Oh, right. it's nothing, so it's nothing in, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So four K is still the thing that's out at the moment. Well, it's all about the refresh uh, rate and yeah. hertz and stuff now for yeah. monitors. And I stuff. know. I've seen some one forty four yeah. hertz monitors, and yeah. I'm like, that'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be good for you and your first-person shooters, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Get MLG. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I honestly think that Xbox will make a comeback at the end. I think it will eventually make as many sell as many units as the PS4. And I've noticed with Xbox, they never really leave their generation like in development for as long as Sony does. Like the PS2, oh no, PS3 just finished getting... Uh, produced only what a few months ago yeah two months ago where Xbox 360 finished that the day Xbox One came out like it's not no yeah. I, that was releases it was still going on for a bit longer but yeah, still yeah. production it did definitely while. stop yeah, yeah. much before, long before I don't PS. know why it is but Sony just keeps dragging them on like the PS2 was still getting made for years it's it probably a Japanese thing maybe because they probably have a market over there that really like they're like yeah I want that yeah and they, I don't because we don't we're like, what's the next best thing? Yeah, I don't definitely. want another. I don't want an old console. <laughs> the last generation was the fight for storage. I feel yeah. like every single console had like five different models with different storage capabilities. Same hardware, different storage. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got to give credit though to Xbox with that. They, they had that removable hard drive, so you could just buy the hard drive upgrade yeah. rather than buying a fucking new console. Because like the standard model came out with a memory card, didn't it? And then you had. Only like five. oh no, the really yeah. budget model. Yeah. So you could buy like three or four different models, but yeah, yeah. the budget one came Arcade. up. With the, it was like two hundred and fifty megabytes. Yeah, it was nothing. It was two hundred fifty six megabytes, yeah. and it's like yeah, great. I can't do anything with this. So you you had to buy the the storage yeah. upgrade for that one. Yeah, I mean, arcade I think edition. The hundred twenty. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, it's literally if you were just gonna play either games just straight off a disc with no updates. Yep. Or yeah, just like crappy arcade. So games. no one. Because that's what happened when my. Well, <laughs> oh, there was quite a few games that came out without updates. Yeah, I had the oh. Xbox Elite. I had that, so I had the 120 gig hard drive. I think it was. On yeah, top. yeah. And so when that got red ring, I just bought an arcade and stuck the 120 gig on top. Yeah. And so there you go. go. You've got yeah. all your saved games. You never lost them. It was fantastic. Yeah. It was definitely good, but I don't know. Um, they've definitely got a lot of hate in other departments from other. You know, from Sony and from PC, they got a lot of hate on them, like on the Xbox from them guys. But seems like if you're an Xbox player, you're still enjoying it. You're having the best gaming experience you can on a console. You're enjoying it. There's no why not hate from your yeah. Behalf. I mean, look, I'd probably be having the same amount of fun if I was playing on PS. Yeah. If I had people to pl- like play with regularly. Yeah. So most of your friends that play are all on yeah. Xbox, aren't they? That's yeah. why I bought an Xbox One on release because it was only Jordan. And Scuba, that was the only people, but I had like Shane, Colin, you, Barry, everyone all on Xbox Live. Yeah. And I still didn't play any games. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. We yeah. were like, <laughs> where's Where Aaron? And I'm Where's like, oh, uh, I've, got, this, I've got the single player game. Oh, I got Final does. Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. great. Don't, I'm not going to yeah. play these multiplayer this games. This is That's why what, when Aaron says we're yeah. going to review Destiny 2, I go, okay, Aaron. Uh, and I've been thinking about it because I... I we've well, me and Barry it. are getting it on release. Okay. So if you wanted to review it, from our gameplay, you could do that. Yeah. Or if you want to have... Oh, uh, I don't think we could review it from other people's gameplay, but we... I would we love to do footage. it because it looks like it's going to be decent. Like, it, they, they're they not mucking be. around with this. But if you didn't like Destiny 1, I wouldn't buy it. Yeah, that's true. That's but I'm, why I'm, I'm thinking like, we're gonna, we should do seven day bash. And return and it. return it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do that. Could yeah. Do. But mind you, I've got games still on there wrapping up in my room that have yes, never been do. open. So yes, you do. You just trade them in for it. Nah, I don't they trade games anything. in. Sell them. I need. I need my I need my game collection. I think it it's yeah, it's, it's almost up to two hundred games. I think it might be just a bit over two hundred <laughs> games in there. So, how many of them have you played? Um, I played most of them. But how many most of them, them have you finished? Uh, yeah. not all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> most of the games I've finished are the old ones. That's it. <laughs> I don't play the new ones because I'm never really happy with them as such. Like I really like the old games that I grew up with, more nostalgic feelings and stuff like that. So. And so is that an appeal to nostalgia or is that an appeal to good gameplay? I think it's Sorry. more to the the way that they made them because when you look at them, it's more of an artistic standpoint 
now because they couldn't do all this crazy graphics and stuff. You had to kind of imagine it. And the way they did it was amazing. Like if you go back to the Super Nintendo era, there's this in Final Fantasy VI, there's this this like crazy scene where you go to an opera. <laughs> He's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Straight up. Straight they up. had to try and Super make Nintendo. out the singing from just sounds on an organ. And it was amazing. It actually sounded like an opera singing in that point. Like, see, that kind of stuff's cool. Gay. Gay. <laughs> Straight away, not cool. Yeah. No, no look. That like, is the opposite of cool. I, yeah. I, I get where you come from where you like, you have the imagination. So I got that when I play Pokemon. It's yeah. like, again, I'm a fucking kid. I'm <sighs> fucking impressionable. Yeah. I'm fucking, oh my God, this handheld device. But I go out into the fucking woods when my mum confiscates my fucking... Game Boy off me and play Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon in the fucking woods. Pokemon is a fucking <laughs> lifestyle, man. That's like oh, a yeah. religion. That well, shit. Well, that you is can so good. now. TCG. You can play it as it. <laughs> so good. It's just not the same. Yeah. Pokemon I, that's is why I kind perfect. of more lean towards indie games now too because they've got that. Dude, there are some indie yeah. games out at the moment that have actually emotionally that's... gone. Wow, what the fuck? Yeah. He'll come back full circle to what I was talking about before. <laughs> Do you feel anything from half of these exclusives anymore? No, where are the exclusives that are doing that? Where are you going? I'm only getting them from indie games or Uncharted and Last of Us. Yeah. I'm only getting them from that. I don't get any like... I think indie games, I think there's a bit of a bias that you... Because their price is lower and you kind of... Everyone has this want to root for the underdog kind of feeling, right? Like a lot of people are like... They, it's a fucking thing, especially in Australia. People root for the underdog through the ass. Oh, yeah, they do. Because and we are the underdogs. That's, that's fucking right. <laughs> So, when indie games come out... Fucking nice. <laughs> when indie games come out and people are like, yeah, they're pretty good, I think people over-review them for what they are. Oh, that, that, I don't want to take anything away from them because there are some fucking great indie games. Oh, yeah. But I think some people, and myself included, over-fucking... I don't... Over-support them. I don't think so. That's too cynical. You just don't realise how good they are. Yeah, you I are, don't realise. Yeah. You trust yeah, me. that's what it is. They're so good. Trust me. You know they're good. They are good. They are good. I'm not saying they're not good. Trust but me. I think that they're given more credit than they deserve in some cases. By some weird people. Like get, uh, Virginia. Great game. No talking in it whatsoever. The whole thing was done through music. Fucking yeah. e- excellent game. That's insane. Sorry, High ratings. Sir. However, there was there some drawbacks to it. And you're like, people aren't pointing out the drawbacks. And where, where it's like... The some of the mechanics weren't that great, and like there was a few other things, and you're just like, because you forgive them. You f- that's right, you forgive them because I only paid twenty dollars for it, so I don't really care. Oh no, not that so much as like there's certain things where like one person develops a game, and you go, I don't really mind. Like this is the same thing you were just talking about before with old games. Yeah, I don't mind because they're old. They're very good, and they're like. That's what they could do back then. That's what they could do. So you go, all right, well, this guy made it with... This one guy made this game on his own or like Hotline Miami was made by two people. You go, so what if that little bit there is really... It's a bit fucking difficult. I go, I don't really mind. It wasn't done by 120. It was there and I didn't pay fucking through the ass. So I'm like, this is crazy and the story is wild. And I'm like, what's going on? And you go, that's that's what I'm saying. I don't reckon... I was saying... It's more not even like the battle against the consoles. It's more a battle against... Triple A titles and their developers. That just... was what our show was like a few weeks ago. Yeah, but I wouldn't, much. I wouldn't trade out Triple A's for anything though. Fucking some of the shit in Triple A, like fucking Call of Duty, uh, that latest one, Infinite Warfare. See, I think you're the only one that's played it here. Like uh, I haven't touched it. So mm. tell us about it. Was it good? I didn't like the multiplayer. That yeah. campaign was fucking insane. So it was good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I played the multiplayer for a bit. Um. But you went Barry to Modern Diaz, Warfare. I went, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I bought it for that reason. Yeah. I know, I'm fucking one of them plebs. I bought the <laughs> fucking the d- jewel pack just to play fucking... And that was a that was a nostalgia thing for sure. Yeah, well, exactly. Going and back that and was, playing that. That was awesome for its time. Again, it was great. And we all want to relive it. And the See, older we get, the more we want to relive our youth. That's right. Yeah. That's where we're getting to. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm but, that, but that's why remaster, it's the age of the remaster. Yeah, because so, so many true. people want to go back and play the old games. Like we're all reliving, the Assassin's Creeds just got remastered. We're wasting people's time reliving old shows that we've done many. <laughs> so we're just like, yep, remaster show. But anyway, old well, indie yeah. games. Let's talk about this. The first kind of indie develop, like any indie kind of platform, was on Xbox. So Xbox announced their Xbox Arcade kind of section, and that's where all the indie games went onto. And Sony took a while to bring in indie developers on their consoles. So props to Microsoft for bringing them in first. And now that was like where Bastion first came on, and Bastion got onto the Xbox because of he couldn't get on anywhere else. Remember when we were playing Terraria? 
No. Oh, on PC, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no, we played that, that on fun, Xbox. Oh, you played Terraria on Xbox. Okay, I played on PC oh, and that was really, fun. Yeah. really fucking annoying, that game. It's, <laughs> you have to dig down. That's all you do. You dig right down to hell. It's crap. And then you've got to fight all the crazy ass creatures down there. Oh, my goodness. There. It's unreal. But anyway, yeah. So, I don't know. Xbox is definitely good. They've got their strong points, which is their soft software. Just their exclusives are lacking at the moment. But hopefully... It'll probably change. Yeah. At the end, it might be like what PlayStation did at the end, where they had... Unsh- oh, the, the Uncharted series got better over time. And Last of Us came out and right Last before it ended. Yeah, exactly. So they The thing could- about Microsoft, though, is that they have started moving towards a, in a different direction. Like, they're trying to get you through, like, Microsoft points. They're trying to get you to use their search engines... Yeah, stream off their services, that sort of stuff, and yeah, because they've got their mixer, which they, is their streaming service. They want, that, yeah. they want to change. They want you to have, like I said before, a full entertainment system where you do everything on this Xbox, rather than yeah. going, this is for games. I get it. Like, yes, you need people to buy an Xbox and also want to watch YouTube and all that other shit as well. Yeah. But it means that less time is put into the gaming world. Yeah, that's true. Well. I don't know. I still reckon they've still got a fighting chance for the next hmm. couple of oh, years. Oh, they're not going anywhere. No, no way. They're still going to be loyal fans. I'll buy one. Fuck it. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I probably will because I always buy both consoles. I've always had. I've always know. owned I don't understand that. both. You're crazy, man. Yeah. You're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But this generation, I'm a bit salty about it because there hasn't been any games that I really wanted to buy that was exclusive for Xbox. So. I don't think you bought a single one. No. Not one that's exclusive anyway. No. But anyway, it's not all at the end of the day, though, like exclusives doesn't always come down to them. Does yeah. It? But the I only remember, reason I, you then yeah. buy an Xbox is just because you it's what you what you know, it's what you're with, it's what you just trust and stick with. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, the games have to be the gamer score, bro. <laughs> yeah, you'll keep in. that fucking you gamer score in. going. Yeah. Oh, I'll be yeah. fucking trading out the PS anytime soon. God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to finish up the show. Oh my God, um, so long. It was very long, and the end just got kind of skewed. But anyway, we're, Xbox isn't dying. It's definitely there. It's going to last forever. Um, it's probably not the strongest console at the moment in this war, but it might get there. In the war. In the war of the consoles. The world consoles. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, who was on here. And um, yeah, a few people. Um, just so. chuck us a follow. It would be awesome to build this channel up. You can share it out. You can follow us on Facebook at No Objective Gaming, Twitter at No Objective Game. Uh, YouTube at No Objective Gaming, Instagram at No Objective Gaming, and all you guys on Twitch here watching us on No Objective Gaming AU. We stream this every Saturday uh, at 10.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time, and we also stream throughout the week. I've been playing Final Fantasy V, and Jordan's been playing Overwatch as usual, and The Hobbit on the Couch Cast on Friday nights. That's right. So, yep, it's awesome to have you along. Check it. Check it out. Motherfucker. And see you later, guys. See you. See ya. <laughs>